Alrighty here. Hello and welcome. My name's Kevin. This is Do It For Bruce. We're here in Victoria 3 once more with you all for another jaunt into the Victorian era. Uh, today, we will be forming Ethiopia because, uh, one, I haven't done it yet. Two, the new drop of uh, Earl Grey, the patch-free patch that just dropped this morning. We want to see some of the new elements that are being added in and how well they are being implemented so let's let's get underway with this simple little thing we're doing uh we're gonna start as the shiwa it's um interesting because ethiopia is in the midst of the age of princes the emperor in gondar has no effective power and local rulers divide the country between themselves so it's kind of like a warring states period um that i never really knew about that ethiopia is going through uh we're starting as the this country uh, one of the counties, it's absolute principality. Uh, we're on Iron Man mode, and let's get underway. So our goal for today will be uh, we have two two prong goal uh, that's going to happen. Uh, first, we're going to try to form Ethiopia, get our culture nation formed. Uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, there's some areas that we just have to control at least two of the, these uh, areas that are split up right now. Uh, which doesn't seem too difficult. And our second prong goal is to outdo China in tea production because, you know, Earl Grey dropped today and we've got some we got some Earl Grey tea here to, you know, put some pep in our step. Uh, right now, China is probably the number one tea producer, if I unpaused. Um, you could, we could probably see that. Yeah, probably in the world. Um, we don't have that many tea uh, elements, but we, you know, we can, we're going to do our best to make tea. Uh, I think there's some tea plantations that we can pick up here and there across these different areas. So let's just outproduce the Chinese and tea and all that. So let's let's do our normal progression of stuff. Um, lots of uh, things are not developed yet because we are considered, I think, uh, tribe not tribal, but like we're behind in the times to say the least. Uh, let's look at our nation as a whole. Uh, we should be making a decent amount of money, which is great. We have a decent amount of authority, so let's use it on such things as services. Always good to do that. Um, government wages not being upgradable, probably due to um, something like that within our government. I don't know what that's all about yet. Probably we just don't have any government buildings. Yeah, looks like we just don't have any government buildings. That's why. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a, that's a first. We have a righteous government, um, and it's interesting, these new legitimacy things. They have created adding like a little more of a buffer saying like what is and isn't legitimate. Uh, right now, we have an unhappy um, military. Uh, we can probably fix that by upping their wages a little bit. Uh, John Connor out here. What are we asking? Opinion on the Ezos, SS somethings? Um, not sure what that is, John, but you know, glad, glad we're off to the start. Probably it's something controversial knowing from our past discussions of, um, interactions and stuff like that. Okay. So we need to form Ethiopia and what do we need to do? Probably take over land. So some of our neighbors are pretty weak. Like these boys in the South are pretty weak, but let's see if we can make a diplomatic play on these guys uh right off the bat because i know we're a little bit stronger than them um when it comes to conquering let's see who would join countries may join other sides facing this enemy yeah let's go you know hopefully we can get not egypt involved because everybody else i think we can take for the most part so let's make a diplomatic play there um Let's go ahead and increase. Let's look at our army itself. We have 26 regulars, six conscripts. Um, no navy to speak of because we're landlocked. Uh, our wages, we can increase our money a little bit. And we can do this a little bit. Good, good, good. Uh, what are we producing? We're producing enough grain, not enough wood. Uh, let's go to our basics. Uh, as usual, furniture, services, clothing. Always always seem to be the ones in dire straits. So why don't we go ahead and work on furniture first. Well, 
Let's get some natural resources up. Let's just up our natural resources in general. Um, how many buildings do we have? We have five total buildings so far. I don't know if we can afford a, uh, uh, a construction center just yet because that would cost us, what, 3000 So pretty much all, all of our GDP from fabrics and wood. So we probably just need to focus on wood production for now and then uh, move on from there. More wood. Uh, their content creator who has some pretty bad views on the war in Ukraine is a joke about how they often support Nazism in Ukraine position, including nuclear war and better Ukrainian losing. Got it. Tough, tough stuff. Um, Age of Princes. Oh, interesting. We have a little decision that we can do. Um, Ethiopia has been shattered into dozens of warring fiefdoms. It's up to us to unify them all. So once we unify, I keep wanting to say Gondor, but that's Gondor. Gundar. Gundar. <laughs> um, very interesting. So we'll see. Hopefully none of these people will join. Uh, looks like we can sway one group. What do they, what do they want? Let's just, uh, advance time and see what they, they probably want an obligation or something from us. But for the most part, it looks like nobody's doing anything too crazy yet but we'll see once we n open into the next stage of things diplomatic maneuvering uh it looks like they're starting to mobilize a little bit um do you think we can sway off our obligation i'd rather not just give an obligation to some random neighbor especially if oh are they trying to oh they joined them oh damn damn <laughs> well see who, who else we can sway to our side um one of these boys say let's say this gentleman offer conquest of this and then let's go ahead and get our own uh troops raised up and activated in how's it going sunny hope your day's off to a good start we're here living our best life in uh you know some CK, not CK, some uh, Victoria. I'm going well. I'm doing well. Uh, I'm sad that uh, Japan lost to Croatia in the, in the World Cup. Don't really love the fact that uh, Croatia is too OP to handle um, any sort of... Uh, like, I feel like every time I, we find them in the World Cup, they're constantly beating anybody when it comes to PKs. Always adding trouble, causing trouble, being trouble. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to fight off two separate enemies, unfortunately. Um, this might have been dumb to do this diplomatic play this early. We might have to restart already, but, you know, that's... It will come. We'll see what happens when we make it happen. Activate our people. Let's see. Did that one people join our side? They did. Is anybody else willing to join? No. Think diplomatic. Uh, not diplomatically. What is there? Uncertain. Um, they're not feeling that great about it. Maybe next time Japan is getting better every consecutive world cup so who knows yeah next world cup will be also in uh in the u.s so it'll be fun to experience that here and be doing all that um they want this okay got it can we convince uh they got more troops on their side so this is probably going to be a bad tough fight maybe we'll see we'll see how bad this goes Maybe they'll back down. They're feeling confident. They're a little more troops than us. So why don't we just go ahead and increase our troop productions. Move those up. Boom, boom. Boom. People keep referencing an anime blue lock is what I keep seeing on TikTok. Which I've never seen. But I think it has something to do with uh, just the... like total um 
I think it's a soccer anime. So it's like you just, whatever they're doing in that, they're bringing their A game. Okay, so now we have, what's their troop? They have 42,000 or 42 units. We have about 36. Hopefully these two enemies just go beat up on this guy and we can take them out over here. Um, let's see, what is our battalion doing? Let's go ahead and um, this and then, well, actually let's go advance. Yeah, there we go. It's very brutal soccer anime. Oh, really? Damn. Probably worth checking out to see what that's all about. Looks like they're crossing our borders over here. Um, hopefully, we don't have to instantly reset. But, you know, looks like our ally is getting capitulated pretty quickly. I haven't seen it yet, but people keep recommending it, so I might check it out. Yeah, especially after... Them losing the World Cup, or losing, getting out of the World Cup, maybe it's a flavor. Uh, yeah, we're getting totally annihilated up here. That's, uh, that's to be expected. Because we just left that border pretty much unguarded. And our ally has, a. Uh, yeah. Oh, has this all become one border? No, it's still two borders. Watch, now we're just going to get instantly capitulated. We're playing as Shi Shiwa. Uh, we're probably not going to do so well because they're absolutely destroying us already. All right. Let's go ahead and say um, this whole border mechanic is still kind of broken in my opinion. Like, how is this not all one border now? Um, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, we're going to get capitulated right here. Probably shouldn't have uh, just right off the bat just started doing this war. But, you know, it was worth the shot. Worst comes to worst, we just reset. No skin off the RT or anything like that. Um, yeah, they're going to totally take us over, aren't they? Because, like, how well are these battles going for us? Not well. All right. We are pushing into their territory, but we're sacrificing all of our homeland. Where is the rest of our troops? They're active. If we recruit another general, that will bring in the seven units. That doesn't matter. We don't need that. We can just go like this and promote this guy. I think that will give us more. Yeah, all of our available troops will be under him, right? I gave you know about Lathium from Social Streams tried to unify you through two, and it was very hard. Yeah, well, uh, guess what? Your boy uh, hadn't seen that, but it's probably going to be a tough jaunt of it already, as I can see that we're uh, losing a lot of it. As long as we... What happens... My hope is that we can capitulate these guys, and then we can deal with the, the other sets of things, but who knows? Uh, only time will tell. Because, like, one-on-one, -on -one we could easily take these guys, I think. But, uh, so far, our nation's getting, uh, absolutely stomped. We'll keep rooting for you. <laughs> um, yeah. Because, like, right now, if we lose this war what happens they take uh war reps from us and they conquer this land probably what we'll probably do is just reset because i thought it, we, it'd be easy to just do a quick easy dirty war and be like boom boom but um clearly not we probably have to build up a little bit more to get to that point um because they're going to capitulate us right yeah still not in love with the war mechanics in this game just because it's like there's a lot of things here that I wish I could control more of. Obviously, I'd I'd pull back and make a... Like, in Hoi, you could make, like, a line, a defensive line, and be like, this is the line we're going to defend and all that. But it just seems like, yeah. 
Damn. Well, all right. Just like that. We got a <laughs> quick reset, guys. My apologies. You know, that's 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 the that's the do it for Bruce especial right there. Uh, when in doubt, try something. If it doesn't work out immediately, give up. And uh, try it again. So, there you go. Cool. All right. Let's run it back. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. All right. Let's actually build up our forces in an economy this time rather than just jumping right into it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I also just didn't even look at our what we were doing governmentally, so probably should do that um, better. I also, we also should um, build up our wood camps first, and then we should also build a, um, we don't have paper, so I don't know if we need, we don't really need bureaucracy just yet, because we're, we're doing fine. Uh, mostly what we need is uh, wood and then furniture. What do you need for furniture again? You need um, Wood and fabric are we producing fabric on our farms? Do we have farms? We have a farm uh, It's producing some fabric. So let's up that um, Cool and then You do have a closed economy, right? I think we have a traditional, looks like isolation. Yeah, so you're right. Yes, pretty much closed economy. Um, what do we need to do to change that? We need to do, I think we need to become, uh, put some people in power and stuff like that. Um, we have a monarchy, autocracy, state religion, peasant levies, no this, no that, closed borders, man. I think this is the most, and we have serfdom still. Oh, and slavery. Oh, just the slave trade. Damn, that's tough. That's that's tough. Um, how bad is it if we bring in other people into the government? It's not that big of a debuff. Uh, do we want the church to be involved in this stuff? I don't think so. We do want to take away some power from the ortho, uh, from the um, from the landowners, so we need to probably have some other people in here uh, for now. I don't think I've ever escaped isolation as long as you unrecognized by the West. I think you can. I think you can just uh, change your government, like your uh, trade policies. It's just that whether whether or not the people would like that, but. That's neither here nor there. Let's begin by trying to maybe make an alliance or two with some of our neighbors, or just, I think we can actually overpower our neighbors just by being better than them economically. I think that's, I think that's a good start. Um, let's put a tax on services, even though we don't really have any. Um, damn. Classic, classic YouTube. You know when you're getting a becoming a bigger streamer because the bots come in. What well, I really want to know, like, I just don't really understand. Like, what is the point of these ads? Like, it's like, is it just to be a nuisance one, or is it? Do they actually? They must have a like a 0.1% chance of somebody actually clicking on that link and doing whatever malicious thing that that link is trying to do, you know? Is it like, they must, like somebody ran the analytics and said, hey, look, if we go to X amount of time, if we post this X amount of times in X amount of different uh, places, uh, we'll have a much higher chance of uh, people clicking on this link so that we can get our malicious things done. Um, Will lead us to glory okay cool what is our ruler actually up to um i mean i never really look at his stats he's a romantic morale loses and expert uh offensive planner uh offense plus 30 percent surprise maneuver chance sadly more people interested with them enough times to keep the feasible yeah because they wouldn't do it like 
People don't do... Th that's the thing about human society, is that we don't do something if we know it's not going to at least work somewhat. There's definitely, like... You know, there's definitely somebody out there clicking them links. Uh, let's increase our soldiers a little bit. I think if we have at least double these guys' uh, troops, we can then probably make it happen. Uh, and then if we can convince one of these other jabrones to join us. Especially in times where people are more isolated. Yeah. That's the sad thing is people just looking for a companionship. You know, it's hard. And they think that's probably part of it. Um, what is going on here? Which is nationality? What does this mean? Uh, our nation is defined by the absolute authority of our beloved ruler. We are one family with one father and one fatherland united to the strong. We blah, blah, blah. Official nationality. Any civil wars within the last 50 years. Okay. I wish they had changed this. These bars. I wish if you hovered over them, it would say X amount of weeks left. Rather than just leaving it un, um, unfinished like that. Because, like, cool. It's a blue bar. It tells me exactly how much is going to have happen. Which I don't know. It's tough. It's tough stuff. All right. Making a different, decent grip of money. Uh, but we need to make everybody's lives better. How do we make people's lives better? We make chairs. We make services. We make clothing. So, let's get to all those makings. Um, losing populace here, gaining populace here. Can we afford to build furniture manufacturing? I think we can. And what about a textile? What does a textile mill require again? I think it's just cloth. Fabric, yeah. So we'll just need more fabrics. How many states do you need for Ethiopia? I think we only need three or two but they're all kind of split because that like ethiopia is going through a warring states uh period we almost have all of um oriomia i think we just need to take this one state and then we'll be we'll be good to go um who is this dude just the church's uh man uh let's see what laws we can even pass Let's see. Local police, which gives them more power. Uh, censorship. The landowners really suck. They don't really want anything done, do they? Let's see if we can reform our government and add some other people in. Maybe they'll have likelihoods of things getting done. Like abolishing serfdom. Who wants this? How about we get the rural people involved then? Oh shit, wow, that's a big decrease in in uh, that. <laughs> okay. Why is it, does it say why it's happening? No, it does not say why. Well, let's take this for now so that we have more options to pass some laws. Um, Peasant army, professional army. They make it harder to liberalize in the beginning? Yeah, that makes sense. Because I felt like it was super easy. You were kind of just like... Easily making that happen. Um, this is going to piss off the landowners so much, so we're not going to do that. Uh, same with this one. How about we do something the landowners like, and then we'll do something the landowners don't like. Like They like a local police force. Let's go ahead and pass that, and then we'll try to ban serfdom after that to alleviate some of the power that they have over the government. Um... The unfortunate thing is you can't kick them out of government. You have to keep them in to, to maintain that. Um, how are our neighbors doing? Their thing is 
I think I'm the strongest in the area, but they can easily probably... Like we saw when I had to reset, they'll easily just stomp me again. Um, like these boys. Can we try to form a, like a, an alliance with them? Oh, wow. The, that passed really quickly. Um, now let's see if we can do serfdom. 27%. This is going to take a while. I know it's pissing off the landowners, but they'll get over it. We can bolster other ideologies, yeah. Uh, we do have a ton of authority, so let's say for now we will... I don't really like any of the people. Let's just bolster everybody else so that uh, there's no uh, ifs, ands, or buts. Just bolsters everybody because we have the opportunity. Also, we should have been... Man, it's been a second since I played this. Uh, we need to promote um, social climbing in these two states so that our pe our peasants stop being so peasantry, right? Because most of our populace is still peasants. Yeah, lots of peasants. Now we need laborers, and what are what do tea tea plantations need? They need slaves as laborers tough tough <laughs> also being a slave state tough um 96 weeks how about yeah let's do it you know we can we can afford we have a a surplus we can be a little uh hasty and put a uh, construction sector in uh and lose quite a bit of money doing that but it will help us in the long run. Um, in max in enactment time minus bureaucracy or enactment time minus success chance. We'll do that one. That's fine. How can you have serfdom and slavery? Damn, that's that's just wild. But do you have the right to assemble? What is going on in Ethiopia at this time? This is such a a weird combination of things. Right to assemble. You can you can assemble boys, but if you're a serf and slave, so it's a right to assemble for only the the landowners. That's essentially what's happening in our government. Yeah, pretty much. Hope everybody's getting excited for the holidays that are coming up. For all the different holidays from Kwanzaa to Christmas to... Uh, you know, all the, all the Christmas holidays. All the December-based holidays. It's weird because I've always spent most of my holidays uh, in in uh, the northwest up here, uh, and it snowed actually yesterday up here. Um, but one year we were in Colombia for the holidays, and it was weird because it was a balmy seventy nine degrees Fahrenheit, uh, and it was like kind of one of those weird surreal moments, being like, oh. Christmas doesn't mean automatically always mean co uh, cold. It also can mean like hot and uh, and uh, temperate weather, uh, which was a uh, kind of a cult, like a, not a culture shock, but a a moment of realization that like uh, there are other people than <laughs> that experience different temperatures. Like in Australia, it's always it would be so weird to have a constantly always see all this media coming out of the U.S. That's like. It's a white Christmas. We love it. And it's just like, mm, actually, we, I, we, it doesn't really snow here. Um, we have the authority. We can waste it. Cool. Let us now do democracy. Uh, no. Let's do this. Yeah. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Probably going to be streaming a lot this December. Or the starting, like, next two weeks after. 
because my girlfriend's going out of town, so uh, I'll probably be streaming. Probably maybe doing two day streams. We'll see. We'll see if I can muster that, like some CK3 in the morning and then some other games in the afternoons. Um, obviously, for Europeans, that's tough, but I wanted to see if the if I do a spread of times, if my more uh, American audience is North American audience is more inclined to join the streams or if it's just going to continue to be i feel like for the most part there are some north america but for the people i keep recurring like you sunny and leo and bliss are all my european bros and dudes success by 15 percent oh god it's like 8 p.m yeah it's late for you guys but like that's kind of prime time for Europe because right now it's 11.02 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast. So like if I started a stream at like 4 p.m. my time, that's 7 p.m. on the East Coast and like degrades down from there hour by hour. So it'd be like seeing more of the, like I was saying, North American audience who are, who are able to kick it. Um, we need more wood, who knew? Who knew that uh, one wood production wasn't going to be enough? Um, let's do hardwoods, too. I know we don't have a need for hardwood just yet. Um, well, actually, do we need to do hardwood? Yeah, let's just prioritize wood, because there's no n real need for timber just yet. 15. Can we go ahead and improve... Oh, uh, we can just do a unify. If I just click this, is that just going to put us into trouble again? Dang, not even lunchtime? Yeah. That's the thing is, that's why this time is great for y'all. Because it's, it's like perfect time. End of, end of the night. Or end of the day kind of stuff. Um... What does the unify mean? Nine infantry. Um, let's wait. Let's get more troops. How many do we have? I want 30 at least. Because they have about um, 15. So we'll double them. And then maybe we'll be able to, instead of letting these powerful neighbors of ours to let go, we'll try to convince them. Especially these guys who came in and just whooped our ass. But first, let's get our chairs. I think you just starting a war with the Unified Nation CV, but let's see. Because Annex the County demanding the result of diplomatic incident in Ethiopia versus what's the difference between this? No, it's the same, pretty much. Hmm. Looks like serfdom's not going to get passed uh, today, but... Uh, so let's stop doing that for now. Uh, they don't seem to want to do it, which is totally understandable. Um, let's try to enact <laughs> slave bans. They'll probably hate that as well. But it will keep us doing something, at least. The other thing about playing this versus CK is that I feel like this consistently Paradox games are map staring games, but this one I feel like is more map stary than than most. I've had to like write down um, a lot more. Like I have notes over here of like what I should be talking about because there's a lot of things that are not really happening in the game that I. Uh, can't elaborate on just yet because I'm not that as knowledgeable as I am in CK3, but it's also just not that there's just not that much going on. You know, we're just trying to make, uh, trying to unify some land. Uh, let's see. Damn. Classic. Okay. We're going to do another logging camp, though. I don't know if we need two, because how many? How much wood are we producing? 60 wood. How much is that getting consumed by our pops? Um, our pops are consuming a lot of it, so probably need more wood, actually. 
Vicky 3 is more of an eco game and not map painter as games like CK and EU4. Yeah. But I wish there was just like another element or two that I'm just like, I'm just yearning for something else. Like, you know, in EU4, you're constantly like managing people's alliance, like your neighbors, uh, you're paying attention to all their um, opinions and stuff like that. Uh, you're trying to like see how to like best to attack when to attack uh but it's like in this i'm just like them buildings is built yet um let's see i don't need to piss off them anymore let's go ahead and build another barracks too Yeah, more focus on the out. Yeah, because especially because the AI doesn't really watch. I'll say this now, but the AI doesn't seem to want to fight that often. Um, they're not as likely to start as they are with other people. Um, sure, let's recruit this dude. And let's promote him so that he can have 20 command more. Okay, great. Seven percent chance. So, at, at any point, I could have that percentage happen. The dream's alive, guys. We got a we got a seven percent chance to make this come true. <laughs> oh Lord! All right, we have more wood coming in. Good, good, good. Especially since most of the world is code dependent on each other in terms of trade. Yeah. This is when globalism really started being like more apparent as a like, oh, we can't have war because now my my rice that I get from like or my cotton that I get from India, like that's the one thing I always remember is like during the Civil War, the rest of Europe was like, yo, cotton got real expensive all of a sudden. That kind of sucks. And the quality of it is not as good. All right. Our two regiments are going to come in in the next couple weeks. So we'll probably take those in. Um, looks like this is doing okay so far, U using enough wood. Um, need to bring down the cost of wool. So why not, or fabric, I mean. So let's build that. And then we can probably do our unify bid. And then we're gonna try to sway um, either the strong boys. Yeah, these strong boys. Because that's important. Let's go ahead and mobilize our troops already. Go ahead and defend the tr front. And then we can go ahead and see if any of these other kids will join us it says these guys will join but i'm concerned that last time they just jumped on us what does he want offer an obligation sure um it's radicalizing that of course these guys joined damn it um all right, so can we split our forces up again? Hmm, can we convince anybody else? Have I just gone down the same path once again? Probably. Um, let's get another general. Um, send mobilize and defend this front right here uh, so that we still have an advantage over here they'll be doing their thing which makes it very awkward for the great powers of Europe who already banned slavery since they recognize the support of CS when CSA when it got expensive yep 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 you know it's 
too true, too true. Uh, let's like, activate our recruits. Hopefully they get split up. Um, I think this is the better way to do it this time. Not just let, leave one border undefended. Even if we lose the, the fight a little bit, it'll be all right. Uh, let's add in, actually, can we sway anybody else? We can sway a couple more guys. So let's actually do that. Um, this guy. He wants land. I'll let him conquer the land. Conquer the land. Um, but as long as we get this land, this is going to be a big boon for us. They have about almost a million people. So, and then we'll have one full state under our control. Also, if we just continue to give land to people, or pretend to ask to give land to certain people, would they be like, uh, they just co uh, acquiesce? Possibly. Possibly, possibly. Cool. I think it was going to go better this time. I hope it goes better this time, but... Only time will tell. Maybe these guys will back down. Nope. No backing down. It's fine. I think we did a better job of managing, oh god, um, expectations. Especially because now we're just making our allies do a lot of the work. Yeah, these guys are just holding this border. See, this is the silly thing about borders, in my opinion. These dudes are holding this border right here with me. And, or were holding this border, and now it's completely evaporated. Alright, so let us send our army to defend this border, and let's go help advance this one. What happens if I don't agree to their terms? Like, if I make peace and just screw over my neighbors who said they will join but don't actually join, are they going to be mad or are they just not going to accept the peace? I could always just white peace them. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Um, we got some radicalism or is it... Devastation or devastation. Uh, how are our chair productions coming? I think they're going to be okay. We're low on food, and our chair production is actually going pretty well. Next, we need to probably... So, I think what we do is invest in more farms again. Another two farms. So, we get food plus... Um, is meat not considered food, though? Is that a silly thing to ask? All right, let's do one of those. Actually, we have a, what am I talking about? We have a uh, one of these. So we'll do that and then we'll do millet actually instead because we need more food, which is grain. Cool. If you're already at war, they might stay at war. That's the other thing I don't like is that you can't declare multiple <laughs> wars. Kev Kevin's about all about taking advantage of, of people being in wars all, you know? Just actively being a nuisance. Uh, where is our army? Did this guy promote him? He's the one who needs to get promoted. And then, yeah. Democracy became a thing in our country. Or at least the study of democracy has been completed. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, gold mining. Doesn't Ethiopia have gold? I feel like Ethiopia has gold. That's a thing, right? You know, it's what I want. It's what I, it's what Kevin does best: taking advantage of wars. Uh, these guys are attacking. These guys are defending. The worst kind. The best thing that can happen is that these guys just get. Um, taken out he goes and takes out all these guys but we'll see we'll see what happens um i also don't love the fact when you recruit a general that they only give you like two options i want more options i want like four options can i have four options for generals please it would be great 
uh, this front. This is going much better. Last time we, uh, ignoring one border was a mistake on my part. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Uh, but you know, sometimes you gotta have really quite crazy ideas to make things happen. Yeah, we'll just keep him defending this border. They'll go attack this. Uh, we've already had to restart once, so there's uh, <laughs> there's that information. But I'm talking like Sunny and EU4 when you could like have three or four commander options depending on your like obviously certain things, but. Uh... I don't this should be pretty I'm not gonna say this is gonna be easy but I think it's once we take this state and keep it uh, we can also just we only need two states so these two states or the, these this area down here so that's probably the difficulty people keep running into is that they have to uh, take on so many different like little neighbors that they have And our economy is thriving still, which is surprising, but it's because we're not building anything. That's my mistake. We should have been building some. Can we build textile yet? I think we can afford textiles. Uh, let's look at our markets first. We have a somewhat of a surplus. Now we have no surplus anymore. Um, with next to no help from outside the other since you're diplomatically isolated. Uh, yeah. But I think if you just if you just pit, it's like the warring states. You just pit other people against each other and it should be fine. What happens? Can my individual people be capitulated? I think that's probably what I'm going to hope to happen that these guys get capitulated <laughs> are we doing a somalia pirate run no we're just trying to go for a uh eat for me ethiopia um would he do a white piece no he would love it this guy won't love it but that's fine i'm just gonna defend my borders this is the this is the shisty activity <laughs> that i don't know if if it was intended this way because if I just pretended to defend my border and then just let these guys roll up into here and then capitulate these two guys then we can just wipe peace and everything's all good um, or just wait until this guy's opinion drops off can you do a pirate thing in this game I don't not per se I think you can just like use some of the war mechanics where you can raid people's uh, trade points like you could technically build a huge navy and raid uh, trade that would be kind of funny but I think other than that you're kind of limited on uh, on those things oh I was wondering what was going on and I was like why did this state just get so much bigger that's the another weird thing um, I tried to make a time-lapse video it didn't didn't work first and foremost Sorry about that, but uh, I tried to make a time-lapse video where there was only the U World Cup nations left on the map. It was, uh, I tried it several times, didn't really work out. The plan wasn't as fleshed out as I'd like, but there are split uh, states that I didn't realize. Like Bahrain here is actually part of this state as a whole. Uh, something weird to ne realize that, what was the other thing that I saw that was weird? So essentially, I was going to try to make all the, like, France, England, all the countries that were in the World Cup a thing. And then I was going to give all the tribal la land to other tribal nations. But uh, when you give land to a bunch of tribal nations, they are actually way more powerful than you think they would be. So, didn't work out the way I want. But next time. Next time, I'll just do, the, I'll do a split nation for the World Cup final. Who, who who's gonna win France or I think I think it's probably gonna be France Argentina or France Brazil unless Spain really brings it to them oh 
Getting capitulated now. Well, there goes the that my hopes. Nah, yeah, they're not gonna want to capitulate. What happens if I capitulate? Actually, all uh, war goal targets. Are there any? Wait. So what happens if we capitulate right now? Immediately the war, all war goal targets will be enforced. So there are no war goals on us. Is there any downside of me clicking capitulate right now? Uh, let's click it and... You know what hap We'll see what happens. Shua versus Goza, all war. They don't have any. Yeah, they don't have any war goals on us. So if we capitulate, we're out of that war. Did we just piss off these guys? Probably. Does it matter? No. All right, cool. We're out. We got the land we wanted. Uh, does that mean I can immediately start a unification war on? somebody else really quickly and just be like like I could attack these guys for their states real quick like um, like unify Ethiopia people might join people might not join um, I could also could I wage war on these guys probably not we have probably truces with some of these men that's why I can't just just yeah, own obligation to Wolo, and we have a truce with these guys. Um, I feel like there's something to be gained here really quickly, but uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, let's look at our states. Maybe we can look and see. So now we have two states. Gondor is really big. This one's small, and this one is this big, guys. Okay. So I could potentially beat up on one of these other middling countries that only have like a couple troops. Hmm. What do you think, chat? Do we just go? Do we just bum rush one of these kids? Start taking some more land, be super aggro? I feel like Especially with these guys tied up in this war that I left them in, um, it'd be at get advantageous. These guys are gonna be busy. I don't know. Go ham. Man says go ham. So let's see what land we should go ham on. Um, let's see. These guys got some tea already producing. Let's go. We'll make the decision on who makes the most tea. So far, it's these guys who are going to be able to make the most tea. So let's go unify on them. Um, uh, let's just mobilize our troops and just put some fear in their heart. Maybe they'll... Uh, they'll uh, capitulate without... Or back down without any sort of... Uh, real fight. That's the dream, at least. Hopefully nobody is swayed to their side. Then after this, we'll probably have to do a, uh, a chill out. A uh, little bit of a chill out. Because I think they're gonna... All my neighbors are gonna be mad. Oman incited with them. Oh, that's not good. Who's Oman incited? They've got 10 troops. They're not that strong. We can still get them. Now they're feeling confident. I don't know about that. As long as it stays to Oman, we'll, I think we'll be good. How's my army doing right now? Well, compared to my neighbors, I imagine it's just okay. Um, let's go to the army tab and we can see what our... Uh, where is it? Here we are. 
We've mostly got irregular infantry. Obviously, we don't have any sort of infantry focus. Cavalry scouts, standardized infantry, and that's... So it's, like, pretty standard stuff. We don't have line or anything like that. I don't think we can afford line because we don't even have small arms being produced. Um, which is fine for what we're doing. Uh, let's go ahead and activate our conscripts, too. And our economy is stable for the most part. Market-wise, what's the market saying? Clothes are expensive. Wood is expensive. Everything is expensive. Nice. We'll get sticks and stones like real. <laughs> now, we just got sharpened steel. Some, some nice sharpened steel to prevent this. What happened up here? Did this war end? Looks like it did. Um, yeah. I think this is good. As long as Egypt doesn't join, we're fine. And I think Egypt's... No, they're not in the middle of a battle, but... Maybe we start making friends with Egypt. Just become real good friends with the... Our big neighbor to the north. Low government legitimacy? Oh shit, what happened to our legitimacy? Excuse me? Why did... Did I accidentally do that? Mate, I might have. Um, let's try to do serfdom again. You know, 24% chance is not the worst. My English isn't great today. You know, the thing is, your English doesn't have to... As long as you're communicating, your language doesn't have to be on point. That's at least what my... my Mi maestro de español always said was just... As long as you're trying to get the message across, I think that's all that really matters. You don't have to be A for effort every single time. Um, let's do that one. This fight should be super easy, but we'll see. We have numbers. We have... They don't even have their allies here, so we should be able to steamroll them pretty quickly. You should tell the language teachers in Germany that. Uh, you know, every country's a little bit different when it comes to their their uh, feelings on whether or not uh, people should, um, you know, be A for effort. But I imagine... I don't know. Education systems are... The standardization of each one is a little bit different. Enactment has decreased by 15%. Sick. At least, I like this change where it tells us what's happened rather than just like... I just look over here and the number has dropped. But... How are these battles going? Not to my liking. Hmm. We have a numerical advantage, so we should be jumping, yeah, all over this, but we'll see. Probably losing thousands of people's lives daily for this. Cool. Uh, has, yeah, okay, so it's, I don't know why I keep trying to ban slavery. It doesn't really matter because we're not... People really love serfdom. We'll keep it going for now. Let's see if there's anything else that we can probably move towards, like a professional army. Um, the landowners don't love that. Um, local police. This would be important as soon as we become more powerful, but we need a better... Um, Agrarianism or something like that. Uh, what do we need to pat? Romanticism or... Yeah, let's try to do that. Where's that tech? I think that's over here in society. Isn't it? Yeah, it's down here. So we need to get to academic and then we go here. We'll finish prospecting and then we'll do that. Um, so we can find any gold mines that may or may not exist. Ethiopia has gold mines, right? That's a thing. Or am I just making that up? 
feel like that's a thing. We did lost that? Okay. Do we need to like put all of our forces in advance the front mode? I swear, I don't really understand. Their defenses are just that good. But eventually we should be overwhelming them, right? There's 40 of us. Estimated advantage due to units. Um, but we just keep losing battle after battle. Eventually we should whittle them down though. I think that's the... I think that's the hope. <laughs> they do indeed have gold in eastern in the eastern somewhere. So like we should maybe have as time goes on we might have discover some more. That would be good. Great hunger is happening. Oh. By the way, we're we're starving. Oh, there we go. See, we broke them. We broke them. We're good. Um, is anybody willing to form an alliance with us? Probably not. Oh, we could do violent. I have never violated somebody's sovereignty. That'd be kind of fun. Um, let me think about that. After this war, we need to increase our food production. We need to increase our fabrics, and we just really need to get all the standard of standard stuff back up. Um, we also probably can lower taxes so that our legitimacy is good. Uh, peace treaty. This peace treaty finally ended. Oh, because these two nations were probably at war still. These two, surprisingly. I'm also surprised that diplomatically people can't be brought in at any time. You know, it'd be, cause it's like, it happens all the times in different conflicts. Like why can't I have a random ally or random, like Egypt joining this team or something like that. Obviously for our game purposes, it would really screw everybody over, but it would make sense that that could happen. 6,000 years old. Damn. Gotta find me some gold, boys. Where's my gold? Uh, we're low on troops. Probably because they've all died. A lot of them have died. About to capitulate these guys, which is great. Uh... And then we'll be pretty big. I don't know if we'll be able to... Oh, just took that land. Damn. More wood for us. Um, we can do a parliamentary republic. That'd piss off probably a bunch of people. Uh, peasant levies. And the landowners just don't want any fun. Zero fun, sir. Zero fun, sir. Um, is there any institutions we have? We have local of this, so that's about it. Oh. Does this guy want to... Um, he wants a white piece. They, I'm surprised they didn't fix this yet. Cool. Mobilization's done. More land for us. Um, can we just unify these guys or no?
we could try to unify these guys next. Do we have a truce with these guys? How are we... Is it because we have such a solid opinion with them? Uh, no. Hmm. Alright, more land for us. Why not? Worst comes to worst, we uh, might back down. But maybe not. We'll sway these guys. We'll offer them something. I don't really need to fight them. Um, right? I think that's the that's the play. Just let them uh, be invited once we have the opportunity to invite them. And then we can do a two prong. Cool. Some radicalism for enacting this? What is this? <laughs> Why is it giving me this information? Um. Landowners get abolitionist influence. Lose some pop attraction. Uh, how much pop attraction is happening here? Quite a bit still. It's mostly the they have leaders and monarchs and peasant levies and slave trade and local. Mostly, I think that we can try to erode some of their power. That would be the best move. I thought by giving them local police that would erode it a little bit, but you know, we can try. Ooh, they're angry. That's that's a mistake. Ah, uh, that's a mistake. Um, let's go ahead and offer an obligation to these guys, and then we'll call it good. So far, so good. You know, we did have to restart. You know, that is that is true. Let the record show that Kevin does have to restart from time to time. Not a perfect player of this game, even though he wishes he was. Uh, Wanted to look at our markets. Food. Oh, we're getting our butts kicked in food. We need to ramp up production. Is there anything we can do to make production better? Probably if we had tools. Is there any natural iron resources other or any of that in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Everybody just got wood. Wood for days. <laughs> just all the whoopsies at the beginning. Thankfully, this time it's got much better. Well, I think it just really depended on me not being a dummy when it came to... Um, to letting just letting one of my borders be completely undefended like I'm probably about to do um, <laughs> this guy gonna back down or is he got probably not he's worried can I add a war goal can I conquer this dude's lands just add that in just get that going you're gonna decide against me I'll I'll take your land for it. My biggest concern still is Egypt. I hopefully, hopefully they don't decide, hey, we we have a weak neighbor to the south down here. Why not just uh, kick their ass, take their lands? Should be easy. How are the these boys doing? Why do they keep getting kicked out of the government? Is it because uh, now they're angry? Do they keep getting kicked out because... So if I reform... Cannot have power approval while they're angry. They're not angry though. Okay, confirm. Okay, they're in government. If I do this... 
abolish serfdom, does that kick them out of the government for some reason? No, but they are unhappy. That's fine. They can be unhappy, but I just don't need them to get kicked out. You boys, uh, engaging? Yeah, you are. You boys, uh, beating the tar out of each other? Good. They should be preoccupied with the Egyptian or with the Ottomans, possibly. I'm pretty sure that I said to advance this front. Oh, it's the same front. <clears throat> I'm an idiot. Thought it was two different fronts. But uh, okay, okay. So the game says this is two different. This is the same front, but when there's like a huge front that c goes from like here to here it's like six different fronts that that that's interesting that that wasn't resolved in uh the game thirty five percent how much power does this give them it gives them a lot of political strength but it disallows all this other economic stuff oh okay uh Russian markets. What's going on? Did a, that war happen? Interesting. Interesante. How's this little war going down here? Not well, but... As soon as we kill some of their troops, they'll be, uh, it'll be a dub for us. And then we can come up here and take this land. And then there'll only be one more land until we have to unify them, right? What do we need to get this one? No, this one? We need also these guys. Okay, so we need one, two more, which I think we could do. Good stuff. Alrighty. Ugh. Oh, my back just pops so many places. Um, if you're just joining us, we're actively trying to unify Ethiopia. Um, we're drinking some Earl Grey in celebration of the new update that came out today. I feel like Paradox is really sneaky with her uh, when they drop content. Like, uh, the free bit of content that came out for... Uh, ck3 they were just like oh yeah it's out what are you talking about and it was like not like you were just having a dev diary like last week being like oh we can't wait to see this new content drop very sneaky paradox always sneaky with your content releases all right this should be a done deal now good 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 to be honest, I don't know if we need to pass any of these uh, liberal ideas. We can just keep being a terrible person. <laughs> That's always an option. Um... Such as inspiring speech. Of course, it didn't help at all. Serfdom oppression, law enactment, stall, law enactment, stall. Cool. At least they're uh, going through uh, the different laws quicker, or the enactment time is still pretty high. Um, we should be developing something else. I think we need more food, right? Yeah, food is our biggest. Food is big. So let's go and do that. Mas <laughs> comida. Yeah, point one killed my current Hispania, and then I'm just mildly pissed off since I lost 300 years of progress. You can just go back. You know, you, in Steam, you can just revert back to the previous uh, version, and it's fine. It doesn't break anything. You can just play on that version of the game. There's no, there's no issue there. It's like really easy. I remember the old days. You had to like reinstall the old patch, put it in the uh, in the file itself. Now you just click one, two, three, and it's done. Um, 
which is pretty good. great. Oh shit, our bureaucracy is in the floor. Um, damn. Well, we can uh, fix that in a second if we do something after this war. Looks like our ally has fully capitulated the boys in the north. We've fully capitulated the boys in the south. Let's go ahead and capitulated and they're about to capitulate these guys up here. Yeah, do it. It should be super easy. Um, all right, let's increase taxes a little bit. Um, we need to build a, uh, this is the problem of expanding. We need to have a government building now, but unfortunately we don't have paper. So I don't know what these people are going to write on to do anything. Um, can we start building a paper somewhere? Probably. Why can't I attack these guys? Are they a uh, sub to somebody else? No. Uh, it's because we're cordial, I see. Okay. Who thought the downfall of this campaign was going to be uh, not enough paper? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Because we're going to be in debt spirals if that uh, continues to be true. Yeah. What else would help us? Purchase serfs, dealing with corruption, forming. All right. So law enforcement. If we didn't have law enforcement and incorporated states. Hmm. All right. Now we're like hemorrhaging money. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, what do we do? We need money, or we need more uh, paper, or we need more government buildings. Government buildings can run on pretty much no paper. So I think we'll do that for now. Um, can't up that because we don't have the resources to do that. Uh, we can increase our taxes a little bit to offset some of these things. We can do more services. Uh, there are no goods on which you can collect taxes. Um, let's radicalize some people a little bit more to bring this down. Bring the cost of that down a little bit. Um, military can be unhappy. That's fine with me. Um... I try to conquer these guys. Let's do it. You know, no, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's not be too G uh, greedy. We've already taken a decent amount of lands. Uh, we might have some unrest happening. So far, I don't know. You guys said this is difficult. I may I imagine it is difficult to get all the counties be or of all the territories because. Um, some of them are owned by Egypt, um, but I think we'll be getting these two at least pretty easily. I wish when you said form a nation, you, you, you then had an option to like ask these people if they wanted to be invited in or if, if they would just give up, um. Is Solomon a common name? Cause I, or is that just like a title? No, it looks like it's a name, their last name. King Galasa Safo. Cause is this like a relative of mine who's on this throne over here? Or is it just some other Solomon? Cause there's a ton of Solomons in Ethiopia. All right. There goes all of our wealth. <laughs> um, 
mostly if we got fired one of these uh, retired one of these generals that would help a little bit um, kind of want to retire this guy let's do that it's gonna bring our promote this guy hmm, okay so it didn't do that much better but it brought it down a little bit uh, as long as I hadn't promoted them he would have been fine um, this building will be done in several 18 weeks. It will run at a deficiency, I think. Definitely putting the cart before the horse here. Because, well, actually, I don't know. Will we just get uh, bureaucracy plus 35 bureaucracy without any paper? I think that's what will happen because we don't have it. But we'll see. Um, <laughs> paranoid slave owners, less than 5% of all the poppies shoes are radicalized. Cool. Um, age of princes, we just need to own all these lands, which we're actually almost done owning one. Um, worldwide wise, how are things going? I feel like the U S is doing their best. looks like Mexico is taking over Texas, uh, China. Yeah, you lost your opium war already. Persia's all big and strong. Russia's doing their thing. Prussia, you super aggro yet? Not yet. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, not yet. I like how I just called these boys into a war. I was allied with these guys, called these guys into another war. Um, <laughs> kind of just letting me go buck wild this this uh, this time through. Uh, this is probably not going to happen. We could probably stop working on that. Uh, and it brings down some of our... Cool. That immediately destroys some of the bureaucracy issues we were having. Um, awesome. I was wondering how bonkers the US Civil War will become this time. I think... I think it's actually going to happen this time because I think what was happening before is the abolitionism or like the slavery was like getting solved without a civil war. It was just like in the game, it was just being solved pretty simply, which traditionally is not what happens. Um, yeah, looks like no paper is needed and bureaucracy is happening, uh, which is good. How much wood do you need for paper, though? We need, well, I wish it would tell me, but probably a decent amount. I think like 30 wood. Ooh, Egypt has a cordial relations with us. Would they ask for defensive pack? No, probably not. Alliance would be too much too. And if I ask for, yeah, cool. All right, we have a solid economy again. Cool. Let's go ahead and unify these guys. A three-way with CSA New Africa popping up. I yeah, I saw New Africa happening a lot more than it, it should, and I was always like, "What's, what is that? Like, why why you be like that, New Africa?" Um, is there anybody? It'd be almost nice if I fought these two guys. So I might just see who joins his side, if anybody does. I don't think anybody will. But let's go ahead and mobilize the troops. Put them up here. As long as Egypt doesn't go join. Um, is anybody going to join him? It doesn't look like it. I think the new Africa is supposed to be a slave revolt. I'm not sure though. Yeah. But it was hey, it was a slave revolt that still had slaves. Uh, probably, probably didn't get fully fleshed out before release, but it's just in the game. Maybe it will become a thing, um, which would be kind of fun, you know. 
How long until obligations go away? Do obligations never go away? They just stay forever? Looks like this boy is probably just going to give me the land without any fight. But we'll see. Or maybe they'll fight us for it. They'll fight us for it. Damn. Troublesome. Yes, hypothetical liberators. Yes, they've just they've just put they still have slaves. Is it white folk who are slaves? Is it black folk who are slaves still in the game? Who knows? They just say slaves. No, no need to elaborate. Dude, this keeps happening. Why does this keep happening? God, I don't really that seems like bugged that they just keep getting kicked out of government for some reason. Is it because of I'm really surprised that right to assemble is a thing. Um, let's go dedicated police. See if that fixes some of that. Um, looks like this war is already over. Um, gonna back these guys into a corner and then that should be the it right we've taken their lands will they is that a new thing they'll just join the opposite they'll leave the government and become an opposition hmm interesting 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 the intelligentsia is a thing now. We can start probably doing that. I wonder what the threshold is to make that true. All right. People's lives are just okay. We need a lot more food. We need more furniture now. More furniture. Uh, do we have enough wood coming in though? Uh, I think if we made wood production more important and then this, then we can do that. Um, I like how this system is still kind of goofy where I've essentially capitulated them or essentially taken over all, the, all their lands. It just takes a couple more months until they fully agree to it or a cu couple more weeks. Boom. All right. Um, let's keep going. Just keep going until somebody says no, you know? Until somebody says stop. And then I'll uh, beat up on them next. Been going for a bit, an hour and 30 minutes. I think it depends on how much they oppose the law. You're trying to enact things they should say it describes on the IG. Just, yeah. Let's see if next time we um, try to enact something uh, after this one. Should it say we'll leave uh, the government? Nobody's joining them. I was really hoping these guys would join so I could get around our truce. But it's probably because we have a truce that he's he's not joining. There's some ore here. Looks like that's the only iron in this hill area is there, and the rest is just wood. Hmm. Um, what's up, Bliss? Welcome to our Ethiopian uh, conquest of Ethiopia. I guess we're not Ethiopian yet. I'm gonna probably try to grab the Somalilands just to just make that 
a thing, but we'll see how successful this all goes. Uh, these wars should be pretty easy. Yeah. Like right now, I would probably try to do another war at the same time. Um, if we do vol violate sovereignty, what does that do? Oh, pisses off all these other people. <laughs> Let's just start a fight with, with Egypt and be like, oops. Sorry, I just want to come in here. Watching some soccer 4-0 for Brazil at halftime. Yeah. Who to thunk? Uh, South Korea is. Are they playing South Korea, right? Not gonna. Not gonna be able to handle the might of the Brazilian uh, team. Did you catch this morning's game, Japan versus Croatia? It was a hell of a game, except for the part where uh, Japan just fell apart in PKs. But you know, that's it's part of the process of uh, of soccer. Though. Interesting. I've never. That should be in the future. I kind of want to test out uh, violating sovereignties and seeing if you could use that to like better uh, exploit some of the game where like you want to fight somebody, but because you're in a truce, they won't fight you. But if you do this, um, if you try to violate sovereignty, they will do it. You can rarely view nation, beat a nation that views soccer as a religion. Yeah. Well, the Germans did it. We saw that happen, so that was tough. Dude, Croatia is so scrappy. Every time I'm like, dude, there's no way that they're going to go far. And then they're like, we're going to go far again, boys. We're doing it again. Don't you worry. We're, we're going to make it happen. It's exactly what you think is going to happen it, once again. Um, let's go ahead and increase that uh, a little bit because we're about to get a couple more places every single time. I'm always surprised by their, their tenacity to get to the, like the fact that they get to the finals four years ago. Fútbol es un religión. Yeah. Fútbol is life. If you've seen some Ted Lasso, there you go. Football is life. Uh, we have a poor relationship with some of these guys. Too bad for y'all, but like, yeah, you, you should have stopped me two turns ago. We're we're too far down this path now. We have large armies. We can start steamrolling some of these guys. When's our truce with you done? Eighteen forty-six. One more year. Never understood that. You know, some people like uh, soccer. Some people like Jesus Christ. Some people like both. And that's the Brazilians. <laughs> uh, shush. Um, okay. Wow. We have enough textiles being created. That's awesome. Uh, we getting closer to enough food. Our stuff's coming down in price. We need more clothing to be sh sure. Um, do we have dyes? I think we have dyes in the company. Yeah, we got a couple dyes. So how much dye? Oh, war's over. Um, how much dye would we do we have to use? How much dye would be needed? Five. I think we're producing at least five nationwide. Sell orders, buy orders. Okay, we got enough. Debating order and takeout or not. Uh, yo, get that takeout. It's always good stuff. Um, is this their army? Yes. 
Unify. Let's go again and do this. These guys are going to be worried. We can sway one people. We're not going to. Let's see if anybody joins their side. I have a feeling they should, but we'll see. Actually, before we do that, let's take a quick break. I um, need to use the restroom and get a snack, so I'll be right back. As y'all are talking about food, we got to talk about the food snacks that we have here. Uh, as always, after the first break, we talk about the snack we brought to the stream. And the stream snack today is uh, some cashews. You know, this most notorious nut in the world. After peanuts, I imagine. <laughs> Why is it that? I don't know. Just something to say. Okay. We're fight fighting these boys. Beat these guys up. Um, getting a ton of populace that are probably pissed off at me. Yep. A lot of industrious people. Is that becoming a major politic group in our country? Not really. I love cashews, but they're super expensive here. I think they're super expensive everywhere. Do you know how cashews are grown? They're actually grown on top of a... There's a... A cashew fruit that they, like, grow on top of it. Um, it's like a weird apple kind of pear, people will say. Describe it as that. These are some salty cashews. We got some tax inefficiencies. I don't think that really matters. Um... Well, actually, it might. <laughs> I think if we just put one or two um, government buildings there. The euro is 100 grams? Damn. In the U.S., it's um, probably like 10 bucks for 15 ounces of it. I don't know what that means in, in 
comparison. Goat cheese. Oh, man. Go what is this pizza order we're doing? Goat cheese, fresh strawberries, ricola, and pine nuts. Damn, that's a hell of a... The count is nuts side, okay. <laughs> Get this pizza, boy. <laughs> um, oh, God. This war is going to war happen. We're going to win it. Nobody seems interested in attacking us or them for it. Um, what was I thinking of doing? We're working on this. Uh, we cannot switch to that. Can we afford another building? Probably. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. Law enforcement passed. Surprisingly enough, that law passed. Um, now let's see if we can piss off more people by making a professional army. Um, we're just trying to take power away from them in small ways. Just small ways to, uh, to do it. Hopefully not piss them off. Okay, another war, another day. In one sitting? Damn. You're eating a whole pizza in one sitting? That's pretty, that's pretty, that's a lot of pizza. As somebody who eats a lot of food, more power to you, man. I love how these guys are just like, <laughs> they're trying their darndest for me not to be enemies with them. They saw, they see the writings on the wall. <laughs> they're like, Every time you try to make us your enemy, I'll make you an ally. <laughs> Takes it usually a half an hour. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. How much longer until this is done so that we can then unisolate ourselves and then become the major best tea? Uh, exporter in the world. How big are these tea plantations? Can I see the most... Oh, I gotta go to this screen. Is there a way to search by specific resource? You know? Like, if I went and clicked on this screen and then clicked on this, is there, like, a number one tea producer in the world thing? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Okay, so there's a lot less calories compared to, and are they, so you're saying they're like smaller or are they just like, just less, like, um, less crust and all that? All right. This war is going Poor, not poorly. It's going slowly for us. Um, slavery ban is actually on the menu? No way. No way. Is that what I'm seeing right here? Yeah, that's what it said. S support is low. Alright, this isn't going to pass. So let's go and change it to, what do we need to get to agrarian? Landowners don't like it, but they'll get over it. We're just gonna try to pass this. Okay, so it's like double the amount of calories in the, in a Papa John's or a Domino's pizza. That's such a weird, I don't know. In the United States, we have a weird uh, obsession or with large 
portions. It's not until you study or go abroad that you realize that um, not everybody needs a giant hamburger plus a giant thing of fries. Like I had a friend whose uh, boyfriend visited over the summer from New Zealand. And he was telling us all about his experiences of like culture shock when it came to portioning and food. And it's funny just being like, yeah, we have large portions, but not until somebody like you see what portioning in other countries is. Do you realize, hey, maybe we don't need to eat this much food. Thermal bricks. What's a thermal brick? Garlic butter? Oh, damn, that sounds good. Sounds like a complete breakfast. <laughs> All right. How's this uh, furniture manufacturing going? Okay. Uh, let's move this up because I think we can afford it now. Because we've made wood and um, fabric more inexpensive. Hmm. These guys are no match for me anymore now. Is this war still going on? Oh, it is. <laughs> Just said they were no match for us, even though uh, they are whooping. How many... Damn, they've won a lot of these battles. But we probably need to just mobilize more troops. Um, let's go ahead and promote this guy so he can have more regiments at the ready. Because once this war is over, we're going to decrease the amount of regular troops we have. There's no need for the amount of bata battalions we have. Very thing crushed in Finland. Hmm. Makes sense. How do we sway people to join this idea? I need agrarianism to become a thing. Because if we don't, uh, we're going to have a bad time tax-wise. We're going to have a bad time getting out of isolation and all that stuff. So I think that's the plan here. How's your war going, Egypt? Looks like it's going pretty swell, actually. We have a numerical advantage, but we're getting our ass beat. Do they have, like, slightly better troops than us? Is that possible? They don't have... Um, I mean, uh, they don't have an uh, arms thing, right? There's no way. Yeah. They just have a bunch of troops. Do you have Chicago-style pizza? Thermal bricks are just bricks that endure heat to store heat that they... Uh, okay, that's cool. It's just like a, a way to keep something warm without having like an oven or other things on. These guys are putting up a fight. We have so many of our people dead. Um... I don't know why we keep getting disadvantaged. You know? I still need to learn more about the war mechanics in this game. Like, right now, we have a numerical advantage. Obviously, that shouldn't be the main reason we are winning. But it feels like we have more regular troops than they do. And their conscripts are just beating our asses. But slowly but surely, we're tearing their... Exhaust down. All right, how about we just, um, can we go ahead and promote this guy again? All right, bring all of our forces to actually bear on these guys. 
Oh wow, that passed. Holy shit. Sweet, now we can uh, piss off the people even more by changing our isolationism, right? No, not until what happens. We need to have international trade and then we can do something, right? Or no, we can change it this way. Oh man, we just need to do our, we need to do some research people. Um, where's international trade? International trade. There it is. Cool. We'll work on that while y'all keep talking about some pizzas. I feel like Chicago style pizza is not my favorite. Um, you guys, there's a lesser known pizza variety called Detroit style pizza, where it's like they take the pizza and they it put it in a square um, baking dish instead of, or pan instead of a circular thing. They bake the, the dough or the, yeah, and in that dish, and then they put the toppings and cheese and stuff on the bottom, and then the sauce is delved on top. It's kind of a different take on it. I like it because it like makes it a lot more saucy, which I'm, I'm all about it being saucier. But uh, it's a different. You should look it up if you have never seen it or tried it. It's a it's a fun, fun jaunt for sure. Um, can't afford this just yet. I think we could probably start making wood a thing again. How short are we on wood though? Let's go ahead and just make one of our wood production places. Yeah. It's a little, yeah, it's, it can be, but if you eat pizza with a fork and knife, I have, um, no, uh, there will, you're a heathen and there will be a crusade for your life. <laughs> Man, this, we are just losing battle after battle, even though we have numerical advantage. It's just because we're, they're just so dug in well, I think their defenses are so much higher than ours. All right, come on, boys. How close are they interested? Not really. Defender, they are pursuing. Ba -ba -ba. I just don't like the fact that it's just so hard to make any sort of headway diplomatically with anybody. You just constantly are fighting off, I feel like, to make things happen, but. All right, more wood manufacturers. I can't say Detroit. Have you ever seen a Brazilian pizza before? No. Let me Google that right now. Brazilian pizza. Is Detroit a French word? Um, what does it say? Is known for a menu as a pizza portuguesa. Portuguesa is a style of pizza. It includes hams, calabresa, sausage. So it's a bunch of, there's eggs on it too? What the, okay. Interesting. Would not have guessed that was the thing, but that's lit. How are we doing? Okay, we're good there, we're good there. Um, this war is taking a, in a significant amount of time. When did we start this? Where's the date start? Um, hmm. I'm probably missing it. It's probably right in my face where it says the start of the day. How is it possible that 25 units are pushing back my 65 troops? Maybe we just overload them some more? Hmm. 
What's uh what's this East Frisian pizza you're talking about? I think we've lost every single battle. Yeah, we've lost every single one of these battles. That's insane. How is that possible? There we go. Like, why is all of our troops not being brought to bear on them? How is the battles decided? I, I wonder. Like, who decides who shows up for each of these random encounters? Like, this battle started with some of these. It doesn't show, does it? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think the war is turning in our favor, finally. We've gone ahead and... How many people have died in this war? Probably too many. Uh, Dead on our side is about 40,000. And on their side, uh, a measly 27. All right. Seems like we've we've got the upper hand now. Uh, I think it's weird. It was a pizza with kebab, sauce, garlic, eggs, salami, and man mayonnaise on a pizza. That's tough, man. That's tough. I know mayonnaise is a it's a more common staple in, on things that traditionally Americans wouldn't put it on, but like on a pizza. I think it's time for, <laughs> I don't know, every day, every day goes, uh, something goes by and we walk farther from his light, the light of Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let's just win this war. We own half their country already. Um, we should also be improving our... Wood is actually at a surplus, so let us see if we can go ahead and do this, this, um, probably more of that. I feel like I'm finally getting a hold on Vicky Economics. I know I say that now, but I'm immediately going to regret that, but you know, I feel like it's slightly starting to come into, into picture. Touch. Oh, it's a sausage? Mm, interesting. I feel like mayonnaise is good on sandwiches. It's good on... Um, why can't we fight you? Do we have a genial relationship? It's good on... Uh, sometimes fries, people really like it there. Is it because we owe an obligation? That's why we can't fight you? As a mistaken enemy, uh, what is our relationship right now? No, it's neutral. Is it because we owe them an obligation? Damn, that's tough. Okay. Um, let us do our diplomatic lens, diplomatic plays. Uh, we, can we unify? We can unify over here. That's weird. Why can't we unify this? Relationship between you is too good. Okay. Why don't we expel this? And then we can uh, go ahead and unify you. Great, great. Then we'll have pretty much all of us unified. Hopefully, these guys go and join them. That would be my hope. But we'll see. Rumalid belongs on a sandwich. I don't think I've ever really had it on a sandwich, so I'll take your word for it. Um, speaking of sandwiches, where are we with our tax policies? We need to get currency standards, and how is our research going? Uh, where's currency standards? 
currency standards. That's right here. So we need to finish these two, and then we can do t better taxes. Um, can we... And we can't switch to this just yet, right? Or we did. I mean this. Um, where we can have filing cabinets. No, not yet. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, probably gonna take these dudes on. Oh, land just got brought in. We can unify these guys. So far, I don't want to talk shit because that's not what I ever do. <laughs> but this is after our first reset. This has been a much easier uh, endeavor. So far, so much we can go ahead and unify Ethiopia already. Which is surprising. All we had to do was uh, force everybody to believe that they were wrong and uh, give up their rights. Is anybody going to join his side? Doubtful. Sagma pizza, chicken, barbecue sauce, bell peppers, bacon, onions, cement. Tana? I don't know what that last one is. Is that some, another piece of like bacon or another piece of like sausage or something like that? Personally, my favorite uh, pizza is jalapeno pepperoni. I get it every time uh, we order pizza. Just get a little spice with a little uh, saltiness. You know, it's it's the it's the banger. It's the banger. All right. So, ooh, U.S. and uh, Mexico are having a guerra contra que, para que. Oh, it's a bunch of uh, return and conquer stuff. Someday I'll play as Mexico and see how bad that uh, goes. Because I feel like the poor Mexicans are uh, sight for sore eyes. Some sort of sour cream. Okay. Got it. It's like Russian yogurt, curd, very fatty, salty. Mmm. Sounds good. Um, why cannot why can't we do a diplomatic play on these guys? Probably because we have a Do obligations ever go away? Right? Is there a uh Information. Are obligations eternal? So, like, if I wanted to, I could... I would never be able to get this land. Is that what you're telling me? Hmm. If I improve relationships with this guy, I don't know. Alright, well, we got this land. Let's go ahead and... Reform Ethiopia, you know? We can do it, all right? There's no, we don't have Gondor and Eritrea. I don't think we're gonna get this one. Gondor, I'm not sure. You're not recognized yet. Not recognized yet, meaning, oh, you mean like we don't have any power? Do we have to be recognized for something? If we form the nation? Is that what you're saying? Also, it's a interesting Ethiopia flag. Can I just... Hmm. Let's see what this lands look like. Uh, there's some tea production here. There's some more iron production. Are these two separate states or the same state? Um, let's just go ahead and form Ethiopia. B... Be that bad bitch. Do it. Boom. Solomon's Quest. Wasn't that hard. It took us about two hours and some change to make it happen. Uh, now let's go on to our secondary objective, which is... Um, 
which would be to start making the most be the major pre tea producer in the world so let's do that um first we got to become unisolated so the best way to do that is to actually become mercantilist or something like that um what do we need we just need uh international trade and somebody to actually give a shit about one of these so once international trade comes to tr true which should happen in about nine months we could do that um, go watch that bliss will probably be on after uh after that happens um all right now that we're a real country and people actually are we're still unrecognized um can we is there any reason to take these lands We want to look at the state itself. The buildings that they have. A lot more iron to be mined around here. Hmm. Maybe it's worthwhile. Their gar also, their armies are really small. Let's just do it, you know? We'll just keep, keep getting bigger and bigger. More thick. Um, stop doing that. Do they want us to form alliance? Probably not. What are our interests currently? Um, declare interests. We can have another interest. Let's say Horn of Africa already has an interest. And then do Egypt, I guess. No defensive pack. Hmm. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Um, Oman joined their conflict? Cool. I think we'll be able to handle them pretty easily. Um, is Egypt a recognized power? I think they are. Yeah, they're number 12. Uh, unrecognized major power. Regional power. How do we become recognized? I think if you... Like, you have to declare for it, don't you? Maybe. Maybe not. Really should not have gotten... Given this guy our... Um... Do obligation? Let me Google that. We need to reckon, do that. Do obligations expire? What's going on over here? Uh, they want against the odds. Don't care. You need to win a war to play against the recognized power or war that works too. Um, how long until they expire? Not sure, but it's must be 20 years, I assume. Out of curiosity, why do you assume that? Okay, cool. Um, so Reddit doesn't know. <laughs> Seems like there should be a little tooltip that tells me when this obligation goes away so that I can actually take this land. We're a new country. Shouldn't our obligations go away? That's that's the old us. We don't we don't have those obligations anymore. Is this gonna be a long protracted conflict as well? Hopefully not. Hopefully it's an easy dub. We also can start, um, if we pass 
colonialism? No home affairs. I'm surprised that's not a thing. <laughs> Get a nosebleed and anger issues. Yeah. Thing is, you use Reddit very sparingly. It, it can be very a good uh, resource. But it, it's really dependent on what... Like, I'm only really sub to, like, four different um, groups on there. Um, is the Omani army good? Do they have real arms? Looks like they actually have a real army. They do actually have a real army. Damn, they got guns and everything. Oh, shit, boys. We're trouble. Kicking our asses. Eventually, we'll win. It's fine. No need to be preoccupied. Like I was saying, it, it, it can be a very good resource for when you don't know specific things. It can uh, actively help you in those that regard. Let's get this iron. Well... We don't have tools, do we? Oh, that's what we need to do next. Fuck. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we need tools. Tools workshop? We can do them. Oh, no. They don't use point two six. We're fucked. <laughs> they have guns. Um, this is going to be funny. Because they only have f five regiments that are of theirs. Do five regiments versus a bunch of boys with pointy sticks. I watched Last Samurai. I know what happens. Also, why does Oman have a land down here? Huh. Is Oman about to be my big enemy of this uh, playthrough? It's feeling like they are spoiling to do that. Right. Also, why do we keep being matched up with only three? This is the thing that pisses me off about this game is like, okay, cool, but like, Why are there's 69 troops, nice, on the border here, and then there's only seven of theirs? How are they taking battles, pitch battles against us where we're not bringing the full might of our sticks to bear? Like here, there's it's six on four, that's great, but like, why isn't it 25 on four? So silly, so silly. Weird. Uh, can we form an alliance with them? No. Uh, let's go ahead and serfdom. People are getting closer to getting rid of it. Um, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, mercantilism. Landowners don't like that. And they really don't like that. Why don't they like this? Tariffs. What is the one that affects our um, this? Quincy Sanders has invented. Okay. So why don't we go currency standards and then, uh, and then we can go free trade or something like that, so that we can then have our our markets be in importing, exporting stuff. Um, we're making so much cloth. Uh, Furniture is very expensive still. Clothing is very expensive. We should try to bring costs down on some of these things. Service is very expensive still. Food, thankfully, is inexpensive. Quality of life is about started about the same. Literacy has gone up significantly. People are pissed. You love to see it. Um, we need some more infrastructure here. Can we incorporate this? Well, let's first... Because there's no demand for paper yet. Fuck. All right. Well, this war is still happening. Oh, finally, we've broken through. All right. Cool. That's good. Um, has this been upgraded? Let's make sure all of our forms of buildings are upgraded correctly. Uh, yes, they are. We don't have that yet. Um, we don't have glass yet. 
Gotta go for now. I'll come back later. Till then, have a nice one. Thanks, Sunny. All right, let's see. What do we gotta do to end this war? Just let time happen, I guess. Um, is this gonna be a different state or the same state? Let's see the state breakdowns. Countries, country, states. Hmm. Doesn't s this is part of the greater state? Damn it. I would like to get that one journal event done so that we can then click it off and then we'll be good. Alrighty. I've always liked the edges over here where you can just see the like random things like clearly somebody left a pen. It makes it's an interesting touch to the game. It's like, oh, you're actually legitimately map staring this time around. Sweet. We got some more land. Um, we got some more coffee. We got some more tea production. Everything's great going up. Coming up Ethiopia so far. Um, but what isn't coming up to Ethiopia is transportation. Do we have transportation here? Is that a thing? There's no way. Strange. I think we can also scale back our military a little bit. Doesn't need to be the as big as it is. Um, centralization. Now we need currency standards, and then we'll be good. While that's happening, let's see if we can make into a tribute, conquer their state. Probably. Oman is actively trying to be a thorn in our sides. Um, they're mad with us. I don't think we'll be able to... <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't know how long until we'd be able to unify that land. It says has an oblig owes an obligation. I wish then if I clicked on the obligation itself, it would tell me this is an indefinite thing or what. I wonder if the the book says anything about obligations. One country can become obligated to another results in an agreement that during diplomatic black plays or when one country buys another's loans. While the obligation to a country you are unable to start diplomatic convention play on them, the other country may use to hold over you for to you to black pact or may dissolve a sway you into supporting them in a diplomatic or increased relationships with you. Doesn't say how long it lasts though, which is most unfortunate. Uh, I wish it gave me more context, but uh, here we are. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go for this land, you know? Can we promote this guy again? Yeah. It's gonna lessen our bureaucracy some more. But let's mobilize our troops, advance the border there, and then we'll go and say, uh, we don't have central, oh, we do have centralization, so we can do this. S yep, paper's really expensive, who'd have thunk it? And now our paper mill will actually be, have uh, a need. Just arrived. Love the California Vibes outfit. <laughs> you mean my Kirkman is special? Um, just arriving, we've uh, actively unified e Ethiopia, except for one measly uh, state has refused to join our cause. Unfortunately, we have an obligation with them, so we can't, can't attack them. Um, looks like Oman has joined their army which is fine. Um, let's add a war girl of war repute from them.
We need to start building a navy when we can uh, to force these kids out of the Omani from being bullies to us. I love how Amon is now, like, they've actively, like, you're my... Oh, because we are rivals. Okay, well, there you go. I was like, why are you trying to fight me? He's like, because we're rivals. And I was like, well, I don't see it like that. Now I see it like that. All right. How's that tool building coming? Slowly. It looks like you run an independent coffee, uh, coffee in San Francisco. Cisco that offers in interesting blends, including Jamaica Blue and Colombia Montaña Negra uh, and Soy Latte. Of course we have Soy Lattes, baby. It's gonna be called Bruce's Place. Your customers, however, only drink Soy Lattes and Pumpkin Lattes on the Halloween to stay on theme. Shit. Shit. Shosh, man. You did peg me right with the... <laughs> with that. Um... This is so silly. This is gonna be a silly, silly little war. Um, what can we do? Just let that war fight itself out. Um, what can we do to make our tea manufacturing better? We need locomotives. Um, Tea is not really a big thing in our country still. Uh, we need more barista Kevin. Oh baby, I don't, I don't make the coffee. That's somebody else's business. I'm just there behind the counter, every, or I'm I'm that guy in the coffee shop typing on his computer because I'm like, look at me doing business over here, real busy. Don't worry about me. Um, looks like we need food and wood. I should do more of that, as usual. Mas comida and mas that. They don't like the uh, Ethiopian flag. I don't know why there's a purple stripe in this. Isn't this traditionally a green stripe? Feels like a. Feels like a. Somewhere, somehow, somewhat a paradox was just like, yep, let's make it that. Oh, wow. Looks like the US got everything but. Uh, California. Hell of a play. Counting money. Just like aggressively putting my finger, my tongue on my finger and just being like, yeah. I'm a business owner. Look at me. Small business owner. Keeping the life lit of America alive. All right. This war is pretty much over for them. I don't know if the Oman, do you have a Navy? If you didn't have a Navy, that would be great. You have 10 fleet, damn it. Well, someday we'll have a Navy and we'll come, we're, we'll be coming for you, my friend. Coming for your uh, fish. <laughs> Sucks that all you produce is fish, my man. Uh, okay, Egypt, do you want an alliance? Probably not. Probably because we're unrecognized power and you don't. You have no interest in bothering with us. Um, once we get tools underway, we can then finally make our manufacturing of iron, which is great. Um, there is zero peasants living in this place. Um, let's find and see if there's a bunch of peasants somewhere else. You got peasants here? Not a lot. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to probably have to back down on the production of certain things so that we can, yeah, maybe take away all your troops and then make them all into iron workers. Green, yellow, red, but some guy at Paradox is probably high on meth. Oh, I don't know if Paradox strikes me as a meth company. I would say they would do other non-sobering activities, but meth is not the one I would say. Uh, decided no. We're going to make a random flag just because it looks, yeah, fanciful. Yep, that makes sense. Someday. Someday. Oh, 
Oh, this is all considered Ethiopia, too. I didn't know that. Our pretty bourgeoisie cafe owner. Did you ever play Sunless Sea? It feels like a game that some of y'all might have played. Um, coffee, it's all about, like, how you live. Oh, wow. What? Um, you're, like, a, a cat... A a boat captain in the undersea. Uh, essentially, London has collapsed into this underground area, and you're just on a boat, moving around, trying to be a trader and fight all these weird creatures and stuff like that on your boats. But uh, coffee plays a big role in it. I think it's also set during the Victorian era, like fictional. Breaking Bad, Scandinavia. It's tough. Um, how long until this guy wants to give me what I want? Who's losing? Uh, would he give me war reparations? Damn it. No. Okay. Let's go with a white piece then. Cool. All right. More land for us. Uh, we're going to go and... Is there a bunch of pe unemployed people? Well, unemployed people, welcome to the workforce. We need you to make uh, iron for us. All right, whatever. Uh, mobilize. Advance the front. I have yet to pass colonialism. We don't even, I don't think we have it. Uh, I'm trying to get our tax taxes put on straight first and then we'll go, we'll start doing colonialism. Um, probably actually would have been smarter to do colonialism first, but aquí estamos. How strong is Ethiopia, Egypt compared to us? Very strong. <laughs> like the regions, what are they good at? What specific effects does the Horn of Area have? Um, I don't think they have any really. Uh, let's look. I don't think there's any, like, specific, like, other than malaria. <laughs> I think malaria is the only thing we got going on for us. Um, lots of malaria. Um, and likes to import slaves. I think we don't have anything new. No, like, uh, Scandinavian trees or any of that. Any of that going on. Coffee. I guess we got coffee and tea. Our secondary objective of this one is to make as much tea because Earl Grey is the title of the patch that just dropped. So, which we're not, we're not doing such a good job yet. Um, we got to beat this tea plantation out here. Some of these could be tea plantations. This guy maybe. Alrighty. Are you guys gonna give up or are you gonna make me fight ya? You're gonna make me fight. It's not gonna go well for you. We should just march in. Take all the lands. Be easy. Ethiopian Travel De Development Agency in 1852 for the American public. Well, hey there, Sunny. Have you ever had malaria before? Do you want to have some pep in your step? Well, I've got just the place for you. Ethiopia. <laughs> the land of plenty when it comes to coffee, beans, and bugs. <laughs> just like that. Oh, man. Oh, lordy, lord. <laughs> yeah, all right. How much longer in this? Four months, and then then we can do colonialism next. Um, oh, took that bit.
Yeah, they're done for. Can't wait to have a border with Oman and then we can start duking it out for realsies. Is that Russia? Does that really fucking say Russia right there, guys? Uh, why is Russia here? I think this shouldn't be allowed. The fact that the Europeans... Get out of here. Russia with your ugly ass, stupid ass, ass. <laughs> Is, I, is it a temperature thing when it comes to malaria? I, I assumed it was just a, whether or not mosquitoes could be there. And I thought mosquitoes were one of those creatures that like pretty much lives wherever um, because they, they got, they strong. They very strong. Wow, we're making cash? What's all our cash being made from? Probably uh, all the extra um, buildings that we've done, right? Da, 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 da. It's probably our textiles that's causing all that. Need more food. Ethiopia is too high for malaria mosquitoes, but yeah, there are some regions that are sea level. Yeah, I thought that was like the whole thing about some altitudes are too much, and uh, I didn't realize it was a temperature thing as well. Cool. Alrighty, how do we piss these boys off? We need to somehow get out of this obligation. Cool. 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 Now we have uh, all this land. Um, we need to probably incorporate it sooner rather than later. Uh, we don't have the infrastructure for this land. How do we make infrastructure? Uh, we build ports, don't we? Some ports. Uh, we don't have boats, do we? We do not. Um, really need to get more taxes soon. Okay. We need to be able to export some of this fabric that we're producing. It's like Death Valley. It's hot. It's hot in Death Valley. Who to thunk it? Uh, do we want this land? Is this part of this land or is it its own state? Okay, finally. Uh, we'll do colonialism next. Let's see what can we pass to make everybody hate us. Um, this one. Uh, this is what we're going to pass. Sorry, landowners, you guys are gonna you're gonna be mad at me, but this is the truth. We need the money. We need better tax systems uh, so that we can, uh, you know, have larger armies and all that. Speaking of large armies, I don't know if we need to have as big of an army as we do. Bring it down a little bit. Um, so far, expanding and getting all of Ethiopia, not too difficult. The only thorn in our side is uh, these assholes. But unfortunately, we can't do any of this. Do insects breed through their porous husks? It's a good question. I always assumed that it'd breathe through their mouths, but not all insects have like human style mouths or just normal mouths. They have a. Like a. Like I would imagine a fly breathes through its mouth, right? But that makes sense to me, but I could also be real wrong. Um, can we afford another one of these? Probably not yet. How much would it cost us? Um, we could put one in Gonder. Hmm, maybe not. I would, yes, yeah, insects, you know, they, they do a lot of things where I imagine it's like through their bodies. I don't know. Hmm, that makes sense. All right, that's already done. Let's do stock market. Yeah. Are there any things that we can do like decision wise? Um, 
to find the source of the Nile. Has interest in Zani, Zanji. Um, research Guining. At least three characters. General, da da da. Hold a grand exhibition. I've never done that. Niger River Expedition. Map the American West. These are all boring. Hmm. Interesting. What a weird... I would have never thought of that. Also, could you fuck off, Russia? <laughs> this is my land. I thought we were going to have a nice little playthrough, but now Russia has their own dumbass colony down here. Goddamn Russians coming in here being assholes. Um, I think we can start bringing back our troops count. Don't think we need as many as we have. We'll keep some here in the home state. Keep some there, but these other states don't need as many. Now that's gonna piss some people off, but it's fine. What does this do? It will radicalize, especially if they own shares. Okay, we'll do all that. Bring our arms down. Uh, I remembered correctly from school biology. Well, you know, that's that's something. Um, do we just take this guy's lands too? I don't see why we shouldn't just continue to expand. Uh, really, we need to get colonialism passed. Maybe we put a button in this for now, come back, and do colonialism first because uh, I think that will pass. Uh, right now, nobody wants to do that. So let's go and do form the government. Let's kick out the Orthodox, bring in the Intelligentsia, or not the Intelligentsia. Let's take the Armed Forces. Armed Forces actually doesn't piss too many people off. Uh, and then we go political, laws. Which one is better? Um, subsidized output of unincorporated states, um, or do we want resettlement? Migration attraction plus 100%. Uh, we'll do this one. It's probably going to take a bit, but you know, we'll get it. We'll get it done. Getting closer, getting closer. Every day we're getting closer. Oh, we can do it. Hell yeah. Finally. Okay. So it, it, it does. I think it is a certain amount of time that is required. Sick. The Oman people will join them. I don't, I don't know how Oman's gonna get their troops there because they're landlocked. But you know, here we are. Yes, we knew they were gonna side with them. That's fine. It's not an issue here. Um, we have this happening. Is this being increased finally? Somewhat. Are we not having enough tr people here to do it all? Resettlement is better. Just for expansion reasons, is that why? Um, what did I click on? Uh, I'm a stock, stock exchange, that's right. Yeah, because migration attraction is plus 100%. The other one is like, it doesn't really matter. Because we're going to exploit the resources no matter what. <laughs> um, hilarious. What do we need iron for? I'm trying to remember.
iron has no buy orders currently in our state. But if we went like this and changed it, would it do anything? Would this affect this? More tools would be created. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. To war with these fools. Should be an easy one. Um, these two people want to fight each other. We should ban dueling. We should stop them. He's banning the Hornet, but Oman blocked them just to be an ass. Oxford history of <laughs> Cambridge. Yes. Oman is actively trying to be just an ass. Um, consistently being asses to us. Hmm. What else do we use iron for? A lot of things, right? Mostly tool creation. Is this a chicken egg situation we have going on here? Because we have no iron and pre producing two tools and we have no tools and producing two iron. So as soon as these both come online, will they be able to come to fruition? Hopefully. Infrastructure's coming online a little bit there. We need more government buildings. Oh, we also need iron for this, don't we? All right, we'll just wait then. The Also, the dumb thing about the Oman joining this war is they can't. Unless they get, I don't think they can come in, right? Unless they get access to Egypt. Is that a thing? So we should be steamrolling these guys. Because we both have just sharp sticks as our, uh, as our tools, as our mode of destructions. How's the rest of the world doing? As usual, the US is uh, colonizing up into Canada. Cool, cool, cool. Mexico lost a lot of their lands. Um, El Salvador is trying to take Honduras back. Um, Peru got formed, took some of Ecuador. No, that's how Ecuador looks. Argentina looks about the same. The Russians are being asses. Nothing's different there. Prussia is unifying the North. France is doing their thing. Who's who's top in the world right now? Still Great Britain, right? And then it goes France. And then it's Prussia? No, Austria. To be expected, I guess. Oh, we're not advancing the front. That makes sense why these wars not going anywhere. We got some unhappy boys. Um, is morally correct? Okay, <laughs> sure. If you if you say so, <laughs> you can say it's morally correct if you if you want to. Still having some trouble with tool production. If we could just. Go back to, yeah. What is the big issue? We just can't can't subsidize it, so that's going to bring more people in. It's mostly the fact that it's probably too expensive to make everything, right? Is that going to increase or decrease employment? Hmm. And if we switch to a new building system, that would totally, totally upend our economy, right? We need a hundred more, we need 200. Let's do it for like a couple months and see how bad it is. See if our, if our systems catch up. I have a feeling they will. They just need to get there first. Yes, 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 we're working on it. Couple weeks of losses will, and that won't work, be the worst. Um, how's this war going? It's 
It's kind of a stalemate right now, even though we have an advantage. Yeah, that might be true. But look, it looks like the tools are coming down in price a little bit. Um, which is good. As for iron itself, it's still very expensive. We just need to get this up to snuff. I don't understand how this game works. It's essentially, if you've played any Paradox game, it's a map, map staring game with a teensy bit of expansion, but mostly it's about looking into how economies work. I've always ruined my economy. The best way to fix your economy, especially in the early game, tax things like consumption things, especially luxury goods, uh, luxury clothing, um, services is what I do, luxury furniture, that helps with your taxes. Uh, work on things that you know your uh, your populace need. Like, for example, I'm always looking at the staple goods. Uh, if you increase these, you'll be able to like increase your economy over time. Obviously, when it gets bigger and bigger, other things come into play, but um, that's a good place to start. If your staple, if your staple goods are being produced, then I think you're in good positioning. Um, cool. I think once we increase that, that should be good enough. This is going up now. <laughs> Communism planned simulator with a Victorian era outlay. Yeah, that is a. It's a pretty solid way of saying that yeah um these boys are starting to lose the war pretty significantly is oman actually in this war did they I'm surprised they haven't done a naval invasion or something just need more this okay let's go ahead and produce more of that and then we'll be good yeah it's funny because you can become a command economy but i'm too bad we already are a command economy <laughs> i always think about that when uh when playing this game because i'm the driving factor behind the economy i wonder what happens when we make this decision does it restore peace and prosperity to our people or does it just, it just says, congrats, you've done, you finished the Age of Princes. Now start doing the other things. Yeah, I agree with that statement. No economy, I think it was too complex. I don't think anybody could have been like, hey, you know what we should do? We should just sit down and plan the economy and say how much of it, each item should be built and made. El Presidente. I've never played Tropico. <laughs> Plot twist. The decision does jack shit. Ah, uh, classic. I feel like that's many things that happen in this game. Uh, let's go with that. Lots of jack shit. Uh changes uh that's gonna take us four years maybe we do some production stuff next um yeah maybe some crystal no all right it doesn't even give you smiley for success yeah why make it a like standout thing i just feel like this game there's just small details that i wish were more prevalent but you know here we are. We have a small. Like this, the whole war menu. Like I have 65, 63 troops allocated to this border, but eight of them are really, only five of them are engaged right now. 
Also, I love how we're using sticks and spears, but there's definitely like uh, f gun fire going on. But, you know, it's what happened in EU4 as well. People would walk around <clears throat> with guns way before they did actually had guns. All right. What is our major issue? I think it's still tools. Expensive goods, iron, low market access, yeah. Um, oh shit, did they take some of our land? Excuse me? Excuse me what? Excuse me what? Um, that's not supposed to happen. Let's activate some of our... Boom, boom. How many troops can this guy have? Probably not that many more. Uh, let's go ahead and get another general. Um, he could be a royal general. We can add him, mobilize him, defend this front. Damn, they're pushing us. They're actually pushing us. I don't know how that's possible, but they are. Is there a battle with set anywhere? I probably. I don't know. It just seems dumb though. Uh, sure. After 15 DLCs and a major overhaul mod over the top, unlike Koi, that has just become annoying stuff to play. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. All right, how about we just stop advancing for a little bit and then defend our borders for a little bit? Make them attack us. Do they have guns? Is this how are they able to afford? No, they just have regular scouts. It's, we have the same exact infantry. They just probably have better commanders. Like even oh my god this is such horseshit like how are they beating us back this is insane we're gonna lose this battle or war because the ai we're technically on equal footings we have more troops than they do but we're just gonna keep losing for some reason <laughs> yeah, battle within uh, CK is, it can be not very important. Finally, okay. Pushing them back a little bit, but they're causing us a ton of uh, exhaust. All right, so we just had to go on the defensive for a while and then force them to lose a couple battles and then we can capitulate them. Is that is that what I'm hearing here? All right, we did that. Let's do this. Still having a shortage of tool shortages. What's going on? Well, it's not that expensive though, so it should be fine for the most part. Just have a ton of men at arms, have more numbers than them. That usually helps out a lot. Okay, we won, we're winning some battles. All right, why don't we win a couple more battles and then we can push into their territory again, and see if we can outdo them. Of course, we get... Hmm. Interesting, 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 interesting. We need to turn this bat war around soon or we'll start losing. Uh, we'll actually have to capitulate soon. Why are they not getting any decay because of exhaust? This is uh, turning into some horseshit. Let's go ahead and advance the border. I like CK3's warfare too. I like that you can move, uh, actually move around more actually do things 
like move your troops where you need to be where they need to be all right well seems like we're starting to win the war a little bit more hopefully sooner rather than later we win it uh do better because if not we're gonna be exhausted completely and then have to capitulate which would be pretty bad because they would get humiliate and war repar reparations from us How this seems bugged. They have minus eight, but they've yet to. It's not showing it as much. All right. Well, this is some horse shit. After next week, if it doesn't do it, we're we're screwed. All right. Let's just do white piece for now. All right. Next time, boys, we'll come get you. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of time and effort, but, and lives, unfortunately. But uh, next time we'll get them. Alrighty, so what have we done in the meantime except for ruin our economy? Um, probably just ruin our economy. Can we get line infantry? Can't afford uh, actual troop guns though. What do you need to make guns? Just hardwood, right? What do you need? You need hardwood plus uh, other things, right? Let's go and do hardwood and hardwood. Meeting, we're just barely meeting our wood requirements. That's fine. Microing and selecting best commanders for each train is somewhat annoying when uh, something doing something else. I can't remember if CK2 war is longer so long ago. Yeah, it's mostly just moving around. It's pretty much the same stuff, but there's a lot more nuance to like positioning. I remember it because there's three positions. You have to have three separate generals doing it. like the flanks matter more in that uh, regard. Uh, next time we fight these guys, which is going to be when is this? Can we fight them? Uh, we can fight them in 1859, so five years. We'll have guns by then. They will not. Um, I don't know if we need to put guns into our yet, but there's that. Um, construction goods. So we need to make construction goods a little less expensive, and then we'll be able to uh, be happy. But it's mostly that our iron isn't we're not producing that much iron. Well, we don't have coal yet, so I think we just got to keep keep on producing that iron. Microing and the economic system is better to start with. With yeah, I wish there was like a little more nuance to the diplomacy in CK. I don't like that it's an all-or-nothing system. Like, you either you win or you lose, or you tie. I wish there was a little, like, you could just be like, oh, I'll give you X county to get out of this war. Instead of losing the whole kingdom, you can get this part of it. All right, cool. Let's start colonizing, boys. <laughs> uh, how do you start colonizing? You go here, you go... Do, 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 do. Establish colony in the Nile. Start making that colony. Get some colonial lands. Can we do another colony? Or is it just only one? Do we need to declare an interest here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Go here. Declare interest. No longer here. You do. Oh, no. We have to have it there to actually do that. All right. Well, that makes sense. We'll do that. Uh, that's a lot of time. From malaria? Okay, that's sus, but here we are. Still having issues with cost of tools now. Need to ban slavery already. I'm tired of having slaves. <laughs> Um, what else?
else can we do to affect our economy? It's mostly it's coming down to the construction costs of things. When this starts getting into the negative, like when we start getting real interest, we should back down from it a little bit. I think. Um, oh, that one thing passed, so now we can do this and we can go and do taxation changes. Is there a way to increase that? Uh, I think if you, I think if you have universities that does more of that, um, I think, yeah, we're running out of people here. We have social mobility on the decree, um, probably should have it on elsewhere. In our three major states, we have it going on, um. do that too uh, yeah we just have no people here probably because a lot of them are sorry we're probably gonna have to tell the I don't know somewhat understaffed uh, I think if we click down on one of these like coffee we don't really need as much coffee people uh, that will give us more um, of that and then we can click down once on this so then they should be filling up those spots yeah costa rica and venezuela yeah i don't know ours is just going up and up probably we don't even really have schools do we no we don't have anything we still have serfs gotta get rid of those eventually and we have slave trade so uh got to work on those two things but first let's get our land-based taxation or our per capita taxation done and then we can uh have all the money all that good money uh, da, 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 da. all right starting to incur some serious interest rates so let's back down our building for now back it down for a little bit um so it doesn't cost us as much to construct stuff. Uh, and then is this going to have a dropout effect? Yeah, it will. But that's fine. We can go like this and add pig iron to the tools, right? I think that's or we do this. Do that and then we'll do this. So we don't have as much wood requirements. Um, let's free up some of our labor issues that we're having, right? I don't think we have coal yet. All right. This is some riveting Victoria 3 content right here. <laughs> um, let's start making some glass. I think that's kind of what I want to do next. Once we have a opportunity to do that, we'll do glass. Uh, there's 89,000 people here. It should be enough. How? What is our populace turning from? Are we still... We're stopping as peasant base. A lot more laborers. Um, which is good. Which is very good. Uh, how's this coming? Slowly but surely. Egypt, you, you win, lose that war? Looks like you uh, either tied it or just white pieced it. I don't know. The French are down here now, too? Fucking hell, dude. Fucking the Russians and the French are in Africa already. It's bad. Bad for business. Hopefully this passes, because I don't want to be hemorrhaging any more money. Fabrics, foods, um, fish is becoming expensive. Papers, a little less. Mostly it's furniture that's kind of problem having problems with that.
Just let us tax better. We need better taxes so that then we can do our open up our markets and actually have trade routes and stuff. We could do that. Um, cannot afford this just yet, so let's not do that. Uh, that is fine. Does this matter? Nope. Um, is there any coal even in this country? I don't think there's any coal to be found. Traditionally, there's no coal in Ethiopia, right? It's mostly just gold out here. I can't believe we lost that war, or almost lost that war. We should have beat them easily, but here we are. It's probably also time to lessen our troops. We don't need this many. It's a lot. We have a coal of 58. It's probably radicalizing a bunch of people by doing this, but I don't care. Um, why does industrialists have such a bad opinion of us, even though there's no industrialists? Strange. Strange. This game is strange. They've done some better stuff with the update, but still, a lot of strangeness. Probably work on our tax capacity also. Oh, also these states aren't incorporated? Oh, this one is. This one is not. Hmm. More bureaucracy, please. Uh, we can also get more consumption tax stuff. I think that that's something we haven't really done yet. Um, luxury clothes and furniture, I guess. Makes it somewhat better off. Uh, we need more bureaucracy. Ugh. All right. What are these unpinned things? Atmospheric engine. Yeah. Cool. Once our, our nation is defined by absolute authority, our beloved ruler, we are one family, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Official nationality? Hmm. Damn, there's that many people living in this one state. No wonder they were able to resist us. And they had enlistment effort going on too. Well, next time we fight them, we'll have uh, guns. <laughs> I don't know why bandits were involved in that, but they were. Um, do we go ahead and declare on these guys? Get some more. Are they within our strategic region? I think they are. Yeah. Better to take it than let the Russians have their hands on it, right? Yeah. Surprisingly enough, there is a lot of in this mountainous area. Would not have expected that, but it is. We have an unhealthy economy. Yes, I know. Um, if we lower our wages a little bit, that's good. Um, do you guys have guns? I don't think so. My guess is you guys are not running on the gun system just yet. Uh, you just have regular, irregular infantry. Yep, cool. Oman, once again, trying to be a, a uh, thorn in our side. I wonder if it's better to have one set of units defending the line and one set of units advancing the line. I wonder if that like provides some overlap. Um, 
in general. But maybe not. All right, boys, just give up. Don't actually fight us. It's it's definitely not worth it. At the beginning, when we were first starting this uh, playthrough today, it didn't seem like this. Uh, we had to restart because uh, I goofed up. But so far, it's been pretty smooth sailing since. Seems like it does if work, because like there's probably eleven units that are trying to attack. Well, no, there's not. They're mostly defending. So who knows? We have units that have eleven. We have sixteen average. I don't know. I'm still complex, c confused by all this. The Omanis with their units are always causing trauma being an ass episode five yes continuously being an ass episode five um how many troops do they have we need to just get a navy and just send an our, a battalion over there when we get an opportunity just to be like hey um can you stop all right this this is not happening so let's go ahead and stop trying to pass it for now because God knows it won't pass. Um, let's go ahead and try to pass uh, out of isolationism. Or do we have to... Protected must have somebody who cares about it. Um, let's do... some. Let's get somebody else in government that cares about that. Um, reform... How unhappy would they be if I did this? Sure. What happens if I kick the armed forces out? And confirm. Um, and then we try to pass. Um, can't pass that. Can't pass that. Um, why can't we pass this? Oh, because the in uh, Intelancia don't give a shit about that either. Um, who actually cares about this? Why does nobody care to change this? Trade unionists care. We need the intelligentsia and we need industrious industrialists to actually pass it. Well, that's not going to happen. Uh, let's do this in the meantime. Maybe get some garner some support, even though I know it's not going to pass. <laughs> Very un-American. Yeah. Why would I ever invade their lands? That seems so silly. How's this war going for us? It's going okay. These five units. Like, there's one battle happening here. Why is there not, like... So, all five of their one units are engaged in this one battle. Where are, say, the 30 other troops? I just... Mm, I just want to control it myself. I don't like putting my hands in the faith of the AI just, just to do a bad job of it. Because that's what they're doing is a bad job of it. I say screw it. It's time. It's time. It's time to get some guns, boys. <laughs> time to get some guns. We're bringing human rights to Oman. Yeah. And it's also time to get some guns. At least for our, like some of our regulars. After we get glass, we'll get guns. Uh, is there anything else we can increase the? We could do hardwood for this. Um, maybe we do that. Maybe not. Hmm. Some fish. Okay, that's doing that. Um, <laughs> I 
<laughs> slavery is certainly a set of human rights. Yeah, rights. <laughs> so is serfdom, you know, those are human rights. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, God. I'm surprised that it hasn't been more of a thing. I feel like the first opening days of the World Cup, they were talking, people were nonstop talking about just human rights violations. And as the tournament goes on, people have stopped caring. Either one, stop caring, or two, stop talking about it. <clears throat> At this point, we're like the Zulu, just attacking these Omani troops over and over again. Don't understand. Do not understand, but it's fine. Tis fine, tis fine. Um, starting to get our economy back a little bit. Once we have glass, I'm definitely 100% switching our service industry to glass. Because <clears throat> it would be awesome. It will be awesome. This tur the tournament's been too entertaining. Yeah, the fact that there's been so many upsets. Just th also Qatar just getting absolutely destroyed, dumpstered on pretty early on in the tournament was kind of entertaining to watch. Definitely got a chuckle out of me. Um, all right. Alrighty. So we've switched to that. How's our glass manufacturing going? Did I put it over here? Yes. Um, lots of glass being reduced. Good, good, good. You want to, you what, mate? <laughs> All right. This war is pretty much over. This is never going to get passed, which is fine. All right. Um, let us do better tools <laughs> yeah the, the fact that the US didn't make it that far not surprising oh god we're gonna have a border with the French okay begin improving relationships is this how my Ethiopian campaign is gonna fall apart is because the French are here well it was nice knowing y'all fellas Oh, man. Also, we just need more people. We need we need to open up our economy, which requires a lot of more things. Okay. Let's start by... Okay. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Where are the industrialist people? They're not here. Can we get a marginalized group into power? Um, great. Sweet. All this has been unified. Great, 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 great. Perfect. Uh, I didn't realize this was all one state. That's pretty nice. Uh, I would have done that sooner. Cool. So, what is our plans? You guys didn't fail my bracket. That's good. Uh, my expectations is we were going to make it to the knockout round and then immediately get knocked out. Um, that's always my expectations when the US is playing um, in the, any sort of World Cup situation. When it's just the Gold Cup or whatever, our CONCACAF, uh, <coughs> just CONCACAF people, I expect us to win it all, but I'm not under any illusion whatsoever that the US uh, has a proficient soccer team. All right, glass is being produced at a pretty decent grip. Um, we need more food as usual. So let us go ahead and do that. And then we only have, where's our biggest body of peasants right now? Right here. Well, let's start increasing our TX uh, production here. We need to become this right now. We are three, th Three thousand five hundred and fifty-six, six, seven, seven, four in the world when it comes to production of tea. 
I'm means to change that. Change the tea production to be the best tea producers in the world. Um, God, we need to get rid of slavery. Can we do that? I think serfdom could... Having both serfdom and slavery is lit. <laughs> I said that at the beginning, but... God, and now France is on our border, too. Hola. So good to see you. In the World Cup, the very first one from the country. Yeah, I remember that. Third place, baby. We're uh, we're number three in, in 19... What was that? 20? 1930? No, no. It was like 18. And then the invention of basketball and the invention of football, American football, happened. Baseball, all these uh, truly American sports came about and destroyed any chances that we'd ever be good at uh, soccer. Tough stuff. All right. We still hemorrhaging money? Not really. We are paying a lot in interests, which sucks. Um, just abolish the serfdom. We can also, I don't want to lower legitimacy anymore. Which one lowers legitimacy? This one does. I'll take some this and maybe we can do tobacco for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Our legitimacy will go back up, I think. Yeah. Um, is, am I, when do the industrialist people show up? Because we have industry. We have a couple different industries going. So I feel like they should uh, be popping in any moment now. Popping their ugly mugs. Nineteen thirty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense that 1930 was when uh, that happened. Right before the big one happened. And then for some reason, we just didn't have any World Cups for a couple of years <laughs> until the 60s. And then we had some interesting World Cups, like one in Argentina during a time period that uh, maybe shouldn't have awarded, uh, you know, a country uh, such such prestige. So silly, FIFA. So, so silly. How much of this clout is... Serfdom is giving him a shit ton of it. Slave trade is giving him a ton of it. Um, peasant levies. Darn. Darn tootin'. How big is the intelligentsia? Not big enough. Um, uh, let's do this. Uh, I'd rather take the bureaucratic hit because we're about to increase our bureaucracy anyways. So we'll be fine in that regard. Um, can do attitude. Um, don't care. They can be mad at me for a couple of years. 36% chance is a... It's not a huge percent, but you know, it, it's a, it is a percentage point. Is France fighting Russia right now? Looks like they are fighting each other. Russia is in this war. Um, nothing like having the French on your border <laughs> to stymie any sort of expansion. Tough. I feel like this game still runs a lot slower than I would like it to. Maybe that's because my quality. What is my uh, settings on? High, medium, but it's not like this game is like, feels like it's just like not optimized. 
all the way. That's why we're having such a slow pedaling start. I don't know. Mussolini, Junta, Argentina, post-Crimea, annexation, Russia. Yeah. Good record. Good good record of uh, actively <laughs> not caring about human rights, even though, you know, FIFA is all about the people and spreading the great game. Or the beautiful game. God. Just goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Hmm. Does there need to be a, like a ton more buy orders for that to be true? Let's just click this button for a second and see how bad things get. They get pretty bad, pretty quick. But does that rocket everybody into wanting to make it? No, because there's nobody here. Uh, that's right, nobody lives here. Oh, anti-racism, pro, not pro-human rights, yeah. Oh, I forgot, my bad. My B. My bad. I totally forgot about that. Um, God, what is going on with our iron production? Come on, boys. Tools are expensive because iron is expensive because tools are expensive because irons are ex expensive. Classic. All right, we should get it up to par soon. There's also just nobody here to do all this labor. Hmm. How's our tea production coming? <laughs> Top in the world, baby. Top of the world. <laughs> um, alrighty. France, we're like best friends, right? You would never you would never try to fight your best friend. This is dumb. Who, why do the landowners like it? Technology spread, taxation capacity, disabled trade. Mm, it's, it's dumb. It's all kinds of dumb. Can I bolster mar marginalized groups? So like these guys, can I bolster your support? Yeah, so that they can actually have some clout. Mm, goodness me. Goodness gracious. This is... The thing is, I like Victoria 3. On paper, it's a very fun game. But it's stuff like this where I'm just like... Kind of just waiting for things to happen. That I don't really love it. And I just don't love the fact that the game runs not as fast. Like, we're in speed 5 and it takes like a total of like 30 seconds to get through a whole week. Whereas like... CK3, when you're on speed 5, you're cooking. And maybe that's just my computer specs that are causing all that problem. And maybe if we'd like lowered the qualities of some of the game settings, then maybe it'd be like that. But I don't know. I don't know. Got to play around with the settings more to get to the optimal uh Configuration. <laughs> CK3, best. <laughs> it is. It's the best one. It's the only one I've ever played. I've never played EU4. I never played Hoi. I've, I don't even know. This is just a weird CK3 mod that I'm playing right now. Yeah. Whereas this, I, I almost, you need like see, speed six through seven to make it happen. Oh. 
All right, can we beat you up again yet? Probably not. We're gonna have guns this time, boy. Just you wait, we're gonna have guns. <laughs> if they ever get done in 28 weeks. Are we manufacturing any sort of... Um, uh, we can't do lead. Um, we could do fancy stuff, but it doesn't really matter. We don't have fertilizer. We don't have coal. Uh, where's our timber production? It should be all on tools and it should all be on hardwood now too. Because um, we're going to need more hardwood, even though our markets probably can't support that. Oh, no, they can kind of support it. Um, food's kind of expensive. Paper's really expensive. Maybe we up our paper production from just the one that we have. Yeah, France has become... A sketchy, a scary France. Still having a war with Russia over. What is this? Oh, it passed. Somehow it passed. Jesus Christ. All right. Whoo. Okay. No more serfs. That means. Does that free up a lot of our labor? No. Probably makes our labor shortage even worse. Um, but now people are more. Probably mobile got to set up marriages assign guardians hold court raid scheme personal hostiles uh, all these events court intrigue yeah you gotta you gotta you gotta be really cooking that's and when it comes to ck3 whereas this is like did the building produce the things i need it yet no okay well i guess i'll wait wait a little bit longer um cool geek keep waiting um we need taxes like now so let's go piss off the landowners even more because that's what we need and also is the intelligentsia or the industrialists doing it yeah nope how how's that coming we can also stop probably bolstering these They have zero clout. What What is the reasoning? Can you guys get some clout? Can you boys get some clout so I can actually pass some stuff? Engineers. Dueling and board games, yep. So much to be done, so little time. Um, guess we produce more coal or more this hmm uh, strategic regions just you wait we're gonna have guns it's gonna be great just you wait Like, I wish we could open up our economy so badly. We could just start trading tea like it's nobody's business. For the Earl Grey, for Lord Earl Grey, we'd have the tea abundance. Um, slaves as laborers. Now we just need to get rid of slavery. God damn. Oh, Lord. How, how bad is that going to be? It's probably going to be pretty bad. Nobody wants... Yeah. We're going to have to fight a lot of people for that. At least the these boys lost a lot of their clout. They're unhappy, but yeah, whatever. They'll get over their unhappiness sooner rather than later. Um, let's see. What else can we talk about? Um. I was thinking about doing two-day streams. Maybe we do, especially like the Christ week of Christmas. Really put out some content so y'all can enjoy that while I'm 
Maybe C some CK3 in the morning and then some random game in the afternoon. I've been wanting to get back into Banner Lords a little bit. I haven't I haven't played it at all since it came out uh, with its access. Um, there's some other games that people have been suggesting that I play. Some other like strategy. What is that game that Leo said I should play? It's like Space Mechanica or something like that. No, that's not it. Some like game that's like you fly around in a spaceship, but it's kind of like um, RimWorld, but in space. Because it's all about producing stuff. Uh, resources on your ship and also fighting people and doing trade missions and stuff. How low your life rating is? What do you mean? Homeworld. Maybe that's it? Um, no, I think it's called something else. Faster? No, it's like FTL. It is like FTL, but it's like... Let me look it up. Let's get Steam out here. It's, it's like... Cosmo something. Cause. Cause. Uh, Cosmo tier. Cosmo tier? Cosmo tier. I think that's what it's called. It's like you fly around. You got your ship. You can shoot lasers at people. It's like FTL meets RimWorld. Uh, people say it's good. I don't know. I think it, I could vibe with that. Solaris has a new patch. I'm not going back to Solaris. <laughs> That's a hard note. <laughs> Mobby, but uh, I'm not going back. This is insane. They don't want this to pass. I get it. But like, all right. Let's see what other laws we can do. Slavery, slave trade. You're saying I don't ban slavery? Why not? You should not remove slavery as a policy in your country it gives on on how low is your life rating. You're talking about life expectancy or quality of life? I think we try for it. What other things can we uh, make people pay taxes on? <laughs> standard of living, bad. Slaves do not revolt. Our standard of living's, it's a, uh, it's a, Impoverished. It's not so bad. Solaris was really fun when it first came out. I really enjoyed the game, but like, it's just too much for me. It, it, just the like microing space building of ships and stuff like that, and then like the whole like I did uh, like um, fighting big leviathans and all that. I thought that was really fun addition, um, but it's just not my cup of tea. I don't know. I wish I could say it was, but it is not. Oh, that's why we haven't been passing anything. What does this do again? Precision tools, railways. Okay. We should probably do chemical plants, but we need, what do you need for chemical plants though? You need actual sulfur and I don't have sulfur, so never mind. I played until Federations, and after that, I got bored. Yeah. I liked what the ideas they did, but, like, it just... I don't know. It was just maybe a little too big of a scope for my liking. They just keep adding stuff to it. Not interesting mechanics. Yeah. When is EU5 coming out? <laughs> Can't wait till EU5 comes out so that we can all complain about how it's different from EU4. <laughs> oh lord. Alright, probably should also increase our tax rate in certain states. It seems like we're leaving some cash on the table. Yeah, no, I agree. I think there could be more added for CK3 already. But that's the nice thing about the modding community is that they've done a lot. They've stepped up and done a lot more of it for them, which which is nice. Um, how's the slave ban coming? Have we convinced anybody? 
Intelligentsia is the only people who really care about the slaves. Um, who is this to? I don't know. I don't really understand that event where the popularity of a certain leader that isn't in power gets uh, like in trouble. All right, let's go ahead and reform our government. Oh, interesting. It's because they're angry. Well, that makes sense why this isn't moving. Okay. <sighs> As usual, landowners are still pissed. They want slaves. Beep, 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 boop. Nope, that's not gonna work. What happens if we kicked out the intelligentsia? Brought the these boys in. Kicked the armed forces out. What about the intelligentsia in? Brings it down, okay. Um why I can't they get for Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's do it again. Nope, still can't do it. Um, let's try professional army. Maybe that passes. Expanding struggle, mechanic disease, and game goals, and meaningful rewards by starters. Yeah. I think disease and epidemics needs to really... Government types and diseases feel like they should have been in this game ages ago. The fact that you can just, like, take a out of smallpox to the face and not have any consequences. I like the, yeah, I, really, I liked Iberian um, Conquest. It was, it almost, as soon as it came out, I was just like, so when are you guys gonna do this for the rest of the game? <laughs> when are you gonna give this kind of a facelift for everything else? But, you know, that's, uh, that's going to come in, like, a couple different DLCs from now. Alrighty. Let's think clearly about this. So, we're still in isolationism. Because nobody will support these ideas. Industrious people won't do it. Let's just do mercantilism. I don't care if it pisses off the rural folk. We just need the industrialists, but I think there's still only 1%. So when do they become unmarginalized? Cut by five. So we need to give them like, can we like recruit a general to give them some clout? <laughs> that is the industry, no, okay. That's not gonna do it. Um, maybe also the option to play as an unlanded entry to find person. I know there's this, uh, it's called Rags to Riches. I haven't checked it out. It's kind of like what you're talking about, Bliss. It's like you can wander from court to court to gain power and stuff like that. Like it would be nice so that you could actually play as like El Cid and do things that would uh, actually make you, uh, you know, want to stay in a court and like fight for lands and stuff like that all right can we go ahead and change our some of our regiments let's go ahead and make them line infantry and then we can go ahead and conquer state And then we guys, our guys have guns. Good, good, good. Mobilize these units. Maybe we'll actually win this fight. We should. Got our central archives. I don't know if implements of CK3 of Rax Riches, but yeah. You could even do a multi-generational beggar dynasty. Yeah. 
I feel like, yeah, there's potential there. It, especially with all the role-playing aspects of being an unlanded person. I think that would bring a lot of people joy. If, if it was done right. If it wasn't like a rush kind of situation where you're like, oh, all you have to do is rush this one thing and you'll you'll get it. Um, maybe they'll just give up. Hopefully they just give up. That's the dream. It's fearful. Seems like the smart move. We got guns now, boys. You can't you can't fight us. We're too strong. We got guns. Like, now you just get a bonus, but it would be nice that you would have duties. Like, you'd actually have duties that would affect your liege's opinion of you or, like, the, like, your vassal's opinions. Yeah. Just more nuance in general. That's always what it comes down to. Feels like it just needs more nuance. All right. Just give in. We have double the amount of troops you have. And we got guns. Look at this. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> All it took was us having guns. All right. Successfully completed. Great. What does that give us? Like you said, jack shit. Like the fact that in CK3, court system has a much wider implications and your courtiers can actually be a threat without always doing only murder schemes yeah like they can try and <clears throat> ruin your reputation and actually matters a little bit at some points i do stop doing <laughs> this is bad of me but i stop doing uh court um seeing my court i know i know that's a bad thing but it's just like i'd rather uh, it gets to a point where i just don't care about people's opinions anymore so i'm like Maybe changing that so that I care constantly about opinions. I think the fact that force limit is so tied up with opinion or people's not wanting to rebel against you, I think that needs a little bit more of a change. Because it feels like once you're like, I have a 30 stack, uh, nobody's ever going to revolt against me. And even if they do, I'm going to crush them so quickly that it doesn't matter. Uh, money's getting getting back in order. We have a bunch of peasants here. Um, how much longer until you become a thing? We gotta pass laws that give them power, right? so weird that right to assemble was a, a thing from the get-go for this game mm -hmm. slowly stealing away their power slowly but surely um as soon as we stop being like a monarchy i wonder that'd be something <laughs> all right at least we got all of Ethiopia, pretty much, for the most part, except for our one county uh, in this thing. I really want to have the best tea company in the world, but I don't know if that's going to happen this playthrough. We're just having such a tough time of passing uh, the law to become unisolated. I don't know why people like it so much. We just need trained unionists or industrial people in power. Does who how do you, how do you see who joins what brackets? Like what movements? Um 
Like, there, we have almost a million slaves. They don't have any... Yeah, it'd be nice to not have. Because, like, right now, who are our trade unionists? These people. They're marginalized. It's mostly the machinists and the industrialists are all of our engineers. Hmm. Um... Sure. And the Emperor will be done. Uh, Emperor has taken a personal interest in ongoing debate in the professional army. Um, sure. The Emperor's will be done. We don't have an Emperor, do we? Oh, we are an Emperor now. Oh, once we became... Oh, because we're the Empire of... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Um, France is absolutely dumpstering everybody in the African game, as usual. <laughs> Let us see. Can we build... Don't have any resources here. Is it because not all of, our, all of our resources have been found? We're still discovering. This is undiscovered resource deposit in the state. Uh, has a chance to discover is part of a non-isolated state because uh, we're isolated still. Um, we should start incorporating some of these states too, like this one especially. Let's go ahead and build. Oh, we're already doing a bureaucracy. That's good. <coughs> Thank you. It's going well so far. We're, um, you know, it's the hardest thing right now for us is we're trying to become unisolated. Uh, and it's just right now I'm just trying to force the industrialists or the trade unionists into being a thing. But it's it's a it's like pulling teeth. Uh, also, eroding the power eroding the power of uh, the landowners has been tough. Um, let's go ahead and go to the trade unionists and start. Trying to bolster theirs instead. Stop bolstering. Bolster. But overall, it's been a good game. I feel like we had one reset at the beginning. And it uh, it was alright. But after that, uh, you know, it got better. With a landowner king on the plus side, he makes amazing general. Yeah. I don't think I've ever made him a general, especially because he's he's a old ass mofo. But yeah, um, once we become unisolated, I'm trying to make Ethiopia the number one tea manufacturer in the world. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're still hemorrhaging money too. I think we can start destroying our military. It doesn't need to be as uh, fearsome as it is currently. I think we can go back down to like 30 troops. Um, it's probably going to piss a bunch of people off, but I think it's smart to do that. Yeah, the Gulf of Aden over here. We could probably, but they have guns, I think. Or they're getting close to having guns at least. And also, I don't want to mess with the Egyptians. So they scare me. I guess having some coal would be nice, or lead or anything. And also, Mon has been threatening us the whole game, so maybe you're right. Maybe we start making uh, that happen. But first, we need a navy to actually do that. So let's build some shipyards, see if we can afford that. All right, professional army's not gonna pass. Let's uh, stop trying to pass it for now. Let's see if we can do taxes again. I think th this is the time for taxes to happen. 32% uh, chance. I need, we just need that to bolster, to jumpstart our economy a little bit better. And then we can actually afford things. Also banning slavery would help, I guess. 
That's so much fabric being produced. Uh, but not enough clothing. How bad would it be? It'd be pretty bad. That's what I thought. Hmm. Overall, you know, play. We started at 112. Now we're 38 in the world. That's a that's a pretty sizable change. Whoa, have not enough amenities. Yeah. We need. I love his hat though. It's quite the hat. Also, why is it Coptic that we're supposed to be, or is it transitioned by this point? The Oriental Orthodox. What does that mean? It feels like not a word I should be using. Um, is there a religious map mode? There is a radicalized. Um. Okay. We're low on government stuff. We need probably more of those uh, shipyards. Maybe it's time to just go a while out on some debt. I don't know. Coptic is, is but it's politically correct way. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I've ever heard it that used that way, but that's also because we play a shit ton of CK3 out here, so it's mostly them doing their thing. Uh, it's interesting to see this the change between Paradox game from Paradox game, like what they what they deem to name the naming conventions and all that. Nova Scotia's popping off. Is Nova Scotia independent? No, okay, that's what I thought. No, actually they are. Wow. How did you get free Nova Scotia? It's strange. All right, let's go back to our market. How is everything? Our tools are still being expensive. Our iron is still very expensive. Glass is becoming expensive as well. Hardwood is in surplus as it should be. It's mostly clothes and furniture. Nope. It's mostly clothes. Our poor people need more clothing. Excuse me. We also need more ships to be able to declare an interest. Or can we declare another interest? Oh, we can, right? Or no, we can only have two. And we need this one for our colony that we're building. <laughs> Except for the French are going to come sneak this colony away from us. Mmm, interesting. Didn't realize it was that complex. I thought it was a pretty cut and dry thing, but that's what you get when your boy don't know that much about religions. But Coptic has an Egyptian meaning. Egyptians, Yiptos, Coptos, Coptic, so they used to Oriental instead, which it doesn't mean shit. <laughs> doesn't mean shit. Oh, come on, Ta pass these taxes. This game does not want me to pass ta this tax reform. I know like a bunch of people don't love it, but like, come on. Who cares? It's the landlords. Nobody cares about the landlords. Um. Who knew the choke point was gonna be not having enough people to be able to pass a law. Like I did not realize that was that was going to be my choke point for this game. I thought it was going to be able to being ex expanding, but nope. It's uh it comes down to having enough silly little ideas. How do we get your Hmm. Uh, 
Is it because we didn't do interventionalism? So capitalism becomes... But because we did this, we did agrarian. That's probably why. Hmm. That's silly. I don't know. I don't know what to do. if you ask to become a tributary of somebody does that open our economy i played medieval total war i fucking love that game uh i'm sad that they haven't made a new one and they've i like warhammer i, I love it a lot don't get me wrong but i think it would it's a waste that they haven't redone any of the total war uh medieval or shogunate or any of those in a while All right. I'm just going to let the I'm going to go for a bathroom break real quick and let the game run because uh, I think it will be fine by itself. Uh so I'll be right back. Game broken? Are we screwed? Looks like everything was fine without me for a second. Um. This hasn't happened yet. Oh, mic's off. Fuck. Mic doesn't work. Oh, damn. All right. Oh, now, are we there?
Thank you, team. Awesome. Um, I swear. <laughs> Blue, let's not start fights. <laughs> so that's... So what are the goals for the run now? We're trying to really... I don't know if we'll be able to do this, but I'm trying to open up the economy so that we can then become the m number one tea producer in the world. Because uh, right now we have this one building that we could probably make the one number one tea producer. Um, but unfortunately, what the hurdle I'm running into is that we are stuck on isolationism and none of the people we have, um, none of the groups that we have want to um, endorse it. So we are actively trying to make the political groups of, um, of uh, say, uh, the trade unionists uh, actually a non-marginalized group so that we can use them to do it. But it's tough. We need to build factories. We do need to build factories. We have tools and workshops, but the other... Th trouble I keep running into is we have uh, slaves. I think that's the issue too. A lot of um, a lot of slavery is still involved in this whole process. Um, let's see. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I think the best way is that we do 100% get rid of saves really helps. Can you win the revolution? I don't think we're probably not likely to have a revolution, but let's get this one thing passed. I'm trying to get pre cap uh capita uh per capita god, why can't I talk? Per capita taxation done and then uh then our economy will be in a better place to handle any sort of like rebellion or uh change that comes our way psalm bitch psalm bitch some bandits and 33 percent chance that bandits get taken out the bandits did not get taken out unfortunately for us um unfortunately for us they also want censorship mm. all right so we're hemorrhaging money. That's good. Um, we have guns. We don't have enough iron. We don't have enough people working in our mines, right? What we really need is coal, but unfortunately we don't have any coal. We have a lot of compounding issues right now. It sucks. Okay, what do we do, team? What do we do? Maybe lessen some of our this, this, so that there's more people in town to actually do tool man creation, and I'll also make more tools. Tools are so expensive. Um, what happens if we went back to crude? Would that fix some of our issues? A little bit. Fix that issue a teensy bit, but we're still sh probably really short on tools because we would need 53 sellers. Okay, so that doesn't really help our issue there. Hmm. All right, let's go back there. Do you have the tech for colonies? Yeah, we're currently getting a colony. It's just taking forever uh, due to malaria, even though we live in a malaria state, which I think is interesting that we can't just expand willy-nilly because we already live, live in the place where the malaria exists. Yeah, maybe downsize so that we can... Yeah, we don't really need tea right in the state yet. So let's downsize a bit ton uh, there. Um, 
Military's fine. It's also... I've also probably could... We can't really afford having two of these, so I think that's fine if we go back to having one. You can if it's co considered your homeland. I don't think it's considered my homeland. I think out here it's... We've moved on from uh, Ethiopian homeland. Because our main culture group is... I think it's... What is our culture? Main culture group is probably a mix of cultures, but... Tis fine. It's fine. Um, did that... Uh, ship ever get built? Shipyard, probably? It did. Um, we need them for ports. Ah, we can't afford that either. It really comes down to the fact that we need these taxes so that then we can use those taxes to do other things. There should be a CB for African nations to conquer uncolonized ones. Yeah, I think so. Our infrastructure decree, you think? The road maintenance one are you talking about? Like here. And where are we else building? Yeah. I think we can stop doing that for now. more nations should be not functioning states. Have a good one, Bliss. So if you look at your province, your economy is bad because you decreased market access. If you click on your flag, you should be able to see your, your culture. Oh. It's, it's a mixture. We have like three. It looks like we have four or five. Um... Yeah, looks like market access is the issue as well as tax inefficiencies in different areas. That's causing us to have uh, issues. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, actually. Probably should get government administrators. Uh, are we good in this state, though? No, not yet. Ports for infrastructure, yeah. If we, yeah, because then we could get clippers, which would increase uh, infrastructure here. Everything else you m build makes your economy worse. I don't know if that's true per exactly, but I do hear what you're saying. It makes it more, the infrastructure more uh, under load. Like, yeah. Switch to cargo ports. We could. Um, unfortunately, I think it would. Let's see. Actually, let's do it. We'll see if our uh, if our shipbuilders can even keep up with that. Because how many ships would we need? We'd need five clippers to be able to have that infrastructure. And right now, we are producing a total of zero clippers. But we have the fabrics and we have the sails. So it's, it's possible we could do it. Give cat a proper UI for Vic 3. Yeah, please. I don't really understand the UI, but... Oh, God, France. You sick motherfucker. Look at this. France is, Russia came in here and just started making, like, their way through Africa already. Um, cool. All right. So that's fixed that infrastructure issue somewhat. Not completely yet, but we're getting there. Uh, also, if we incorporated it, I think that would help. Um, this infrastructure is just a shit show. How do we fix that? We just need railroads at this point, I think. Build another shipyard. I think we need to go uh, tools and then government administratives and then maybe another shipyard. I think the, the ships, we only need a small amount of ships because we're still isolated, so it doesn't really matter. 
So we're hitting our infrastructure needs here. Tools is making it worse, you think? All right. Well, I know standard of living or authority. Uh, we'll do authority. 100%. Ah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because the infrastructure is going worse here. How do you fix the... In is it... Does uh, this provide infrastructure? No, that provides urbanization, though. Is there no way to get inland infrastructure without a uh, railroad? Railroads and ports, those are the only ways. Damn. It's fucking cutthroat, dude. Cutthroat team. Um, all right, we can stop doing this for now. We don't need to do that. Um, we need to get. What's the one with the logging camp? It's tools for now. We can just lower it. I don't think we need either of the things just yet. Um, oh, this is not passing for Lord. All right, we'll stop passing that for now. Let's try. Let's try um, slavery. I don't think we need somebody else in power, though. All right, let's go here. Reform. Uh, is it the intelligentsia that cares about slavery? Can't kick out the rule. Can we kick out these boys? Not just yet. Damn it. Well, someday soon. Who cares about the slaves? <laughs> it's the trade unionists in the intelligentsia. Damn, it's tough. Um, well, for now, I don't think we can do that. Let's go ahead and incorporate this. It's going to take some time. Um, and then these two will be built on the backs of that. Can partially build things and just have them sitting in the queue notice that you're 48 of uh, infrastructure there yeah once we incorporate this it will be there i see what you're saying um are we low on ships is it because wood's expensive again hmm feels like where's our wood looking like nowadays we're short on some some areas. Furniture is being an issue. You can see. Oh, I see what you're saying. You can have an outlier list of political people. Interesting. I've never. I don't think I've ever really looked at this tab. Unincorporated territory. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, what next do we need to do? Um, yeah, I don't know. We should be passing something, but... Looks like we're still kind of stuck. Um, would it be make sense? No, it wouldn't make sense to go to traditional again. Uh, if anything, it would be like interventionist or no. Hmm. All right. Well, let's try to reinforce uh, with the intelligentsia for a little bit. Confirm their existence. It's going to lower our stuff. That's fine. Um, then we can go with slaves. Try to try to pass it, but it won't work. Um, some people are very supportive of censorship. <laughs> which is funny. Because uh, we've had free this whole time. Um, eight weeks, and then we'll have... 
These guys are going to have a revolution now because of, uh, what are they mad about? Little revolution wouldn't hurt, you know? Should we fight these kids? Because they would have about half of our troops, right? But would it be the half that has guns or no guns? What's the half that has guns? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I know the landlorders are gonna hate me for this, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that in a second. Uh, I want to see who which ones have guns. Uh, it's these boys who have guns. All right, landlords, fine, fine, fine. I'm not going to throw everything away just because I think that should change. And they want censorship. All of a sudden, they really want censorship, which is weird because we've we've had uh, the right to assemble for a really long time. Um, hmm. That's new. It kicks them out of the... Interesting. If these two groups rebelled, it wouldn't really make a difference because they don't have. Well, actually, let's. No, no, no. Let me let's talk this out. OK, so they have guns. We have guns and we're the ones producing it. They have 18 plus some other conscripts regiments, whereas we have 17 and no, not here. Could we f actually fight these guys? Possibly. Where is all of our development? It's just these two areas. Um, we went irregulars, line infantry. Um, we, could we fight them? Potentially? You have an illegitimate government. Yeah, that's because we tried to pass... Uh, for whatever reason, I think since the update has happened, they like, every time you try to pass a law, they, that like a majority of people don't like that are in that group, they kick them out of the government. Um, Cause I'll show you when, maybe we just let them rebel. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested in doing something drastic. Um, Let's see. Can we pass that again or no? They probably say no. Yes, for a legitimate government. Okay. Well, this has to come down a little bit and then we can fix that. Gonna <laughs> gonna have fun on the horn somehow. <laughs> yeah. Drastic actions. Well, especially because like, it feels like we're just kind of stuck in a situation here where it's just constantly barely making ends meet. Hmm. We need railroads. We needed railroads a while ago, but we don't, what we mostly need is to get out of isolationism, which I don't think we're going to be able to do just because it's just too much um, for a group to get from marginalized to unmarginalized. If we kick, just have this, confirm. All right, so we have somewhat of a legitimate government or illegitimate government, right? So when we reform back, can you come back or no? That because they are insurrectionary. Mm. You think if I just destroy all this land, my capital's fine. It's probably the other lands, like this one, that has all this infrastructure use. Like, we don't really need coffee, per se, but we can wait a second. How's the infrastructure here? Yeah, we could destroy some of this. Get some petty revenge on Oman. Unfortunately, we can't 
attack them just yet because we need to declare an interest in their lands. Also, this is bullshit that this takes this long for it to come down. Uh, sure, one of those guys can die. Because, like, now we can't pass any laws and we're in considered illegitimate. I'd expand in South America. Oh, wow. Speaking of South America, what's going on down here? It's like Argentina's having a bad day. There's no malaria and coal and stuff. Hmm. All right, let's see. What can we pass? Um... Nitroglycerin. Let's finish that one out. What pissed them off all of a sudden? I feel like they went from being okay with us to very un-okay with us. We need... Alright, I think you're right. We need to start to deleting some of this stuff down here for the infrastructure once we have our rebellious states done rebelling. They got furious. Yeah, they got really mad. Usually, I think there I had had a bunch of other buffers to allow them to not be so mad, but they are uh, total approval value plus 12. Powerful opposition, political... Legitimacy, okay. Let's hurry up with these couple last buildings while this ticks down again. I think we might try to abolish slavery again, have the rebellion happen, and then we'll win. <laughs> That's the hope. Maybe not. All right, so you're right. It looks like passing, getting that uh, tax efficiency was helpful uh, there. Because um, now we're making 6.3. Is that really true? 5.2 of it is unrealized taxes because um, our tax capacity is so bad in some of these states. It's infrastructure and because how much infrastructure it's just urbanization yeah you're right you're right um if we did this would that be better yeah it looks like we can do that now i don't know if we need to just need more paper papel um yeah it's brings that way down okay we don't need it in this in this state but in these other states where we're having tax capacity issues um let's go ahead and make a paper plant i think that needs to increase how much have you played this your first try or have you been playing for a while i i keep so i mostly play crusader kings 3 um but i've been dabbling in victoria a little bit more just because I think it's interesting. It's a different gameplay style. Um, I would say, how many hours do I have in this game? Probably only like a, maybe less than a hundred. But I would say CK3 is my main one. It's very different. Yes, I know. This one's all about how can how well you can run an economy. Yeah. That's what we primarily stream and uh, put on YouTube. Uh, let's do those railroads like y'all want. Um, but the thing about railroads is don't we need engines? There's no way we can build an, uh, an engine. Hmm. You can just run them at 50% over a thousand hours in CK3, it'll help some. 
I, let's see. Let's bring up Steam and see what 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 we're repping with. I also do time lapses a lot in CK3, so this is a kind of an inflated number. Um, but we're running about uh, yeah, we're at 1,700 hours in CK, and uh, that's over the course of like I've been playing since it came out, so it's not as much. And then in Victoria, what are we at now? Probably only at 123, so not that many. But we're making our way through it. I was surprised how effective today. People have said it was hard to make Ethiopia, and I think I did a good job of uh, making all the different states combat each other. Oh, 100% achievements? Damn it. I haven't even done that. I have still haven't done, like, I think I'm at 89%. I've yet to try a perfect circle uh, all the way. And I don't think I've actually done the, from, finished the game in 1453. Still have yet to pull that one off. Um, what other things can we be doing? Probably tons more stuff. We we need more. I play. I also play EU four and Imperator. You're <laughs> realm. You're uh, you play Imperator still? I feel like a lot of people gave up on that game. They said, "Fuck it, we done done with it a while ago." But uh, it seems like everybody's still. Some of y'all still doing it. Um, okay. So our money's kind of cut, gotten better because of our infrastructure and our bills actually realizing some of our taxes better. Uh, have you ever played the CK3 uh, Fallen Eagle? I know it's not exactly like Imperator, but it is if you're into the Roman era, it is a, it's a time. You would say not finish the government buildings because it's going to strain the infrastructure. I don't know. Does government buildings use infrastructure? I thought it was just, um, just these things. Also, speaking of markets, let's see. We can destroy some of these farms. And then we can go to places like this. Do you have infrastructure? You do have an infrastructure to spare some. Just one there. Yeah, we need to stop doing our um, some of our decrees. Like this one and this one. Uh, now we can pass laws again because and also get a legitimate government because these guys are happy with us Let's do that um, These guys are angry Laws reasons. Yeah. 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 Yeah we can Shoot shoot the moon again Piss off some landlords uh, We're losing rank that's fine with me don't mind that at all. Um, does this increase our legitimacy a little bit? It does. So let's do that so that these will, these pass quicker. Vig G3 has some interesting things, such as interacting markets and Imperator is just flat. I haven't really played it long enough. I watched some streamers when it first came out, and it just wasn't, I don't know, it just was a little too complicated at the time of my liking, and I just said, eh. I'll take a, I'll, I'll wait and see. Society builder, whereas EU4 is an economic manager. Yeah, I played a decent amount of EU4, especially when it came out. I played EU4 like from 20, whenever, it was, when did it come out? 2013 or 2012? I feel like I played it from 2013 to 2015 like pretty heavily. I think I have like 2,000 hours in it. And then was just like, I'm so sick and tired of playing this game. 
I can't play anymore. <laughs> Uh, we still need to lessen some of our stuff. Um, we need to stop bolstering so many people. I think that can actually, that would make sense. Stop bolstering them. That fix that. Um, Map painter with economic support. I like the trade system in in EU4. Uh, it was probably the most. I also like the diplomacy. I wish that diplomacy was used a little bit more often in uh, their other games. I think that's where EU4 really shined, where you could get out of deals like w with war reps or just like, oh, take one county instead of all 10 counties that you wanted or whatever uh, thing you're fighting for. Like, there was like a little more give and take in the diplomacy whereas this it feels like it's an all or nothing same with like ck3 where they're con constantly making you um interesting what is this uh the state policy of religion autocracy and nationalism has become the ubiquitous ideology of ethiopia all hail the em uh emperor um take some loyalty or something about the churches the orthodox becomes more loyal conversion happens all right y'all can be converted and more obtuse than yeah it's it's closer to ck in my opinion where it's like all or nothing not maybe not all or nothing it's just like it's like this one thing is what you have or this other thing if you don't want either of those things then you take a white piece <laughs> Alright, how long until these railroads done? It's gonna be a while, isn't it? 26 months. Yeah, two years. Tough. Tough, tough. But that's what we're here for. Um I th the big issue in this game is that war goals are most important thing in the war than the EU4. Yeah, I can see that being true. Yeah, or a little more fluid. The fact that you can you have to do it at the start, which is not exactly what happened with any wars in this in this era. I felt like like there was a, like the whole thing is like the Treaty of Versailles is during this era and that wasn't a, uh like that's a pretty wild c agreement that happened that it was a little more fluid and all the decisions were made at the end of the war rather than at the beginning oh for the love of god we've got it finally whoo got money boys we're making that cash money millionaires okay that passed somehow um got it uh let us now Get some more um, boats, maybe. What's the infrastructure here? Pretty low. Um, let us go ahead and expand our shipyard a little bit. We can afford to do that. I think we can also afford to build a uh, another construction facility because we have so much more cash coming in. Yeah, but the hard thing about it's hard to say this out loud and like not mean it in a bad way, but I feel like Paradox games, you really, if you want to enjoy them, it's best to just wait two and a half years and then you can have a good time because there will be a lot more contact and you won't have that like taste in your mouth being like, oh, it's not as fun as, like, the original one or it's not as good as the previous one because of this, that, and the other thing. And there's a lot of rough edges and it needs to be, sh like, changed up. It's like you almost need to deny yourself any Paradox game for at least a year and a half while they add more contact and iron out the edges, which is, like, uh, is that a game industry thing? 
like it happened in CK3. It happened with Vicky3. Like all of the threes so far, like everybody's mad because there's not enough content. It's not to the liking of the way they want. There's like there's c certain milestones that they've improved upon, but it's not so much so that you're like, this was worth the sixty fifty dollar price tag. Try releasing EU four is like pulling your hair out. Yeah, dude. If they EU five or would be is going to be if that happens, which is not going to happen for a very long time because they're still building so much in it. Um, will be insane um let's see what do we need to do a little more infrastructure here probably um let's get that up um how is our tools we can't do steel yet um a couple more tools here and probably some more wood or are we getting close to our limit now some wood and Oh, wow. That's not what I meant to do. Why are there so many of them? That seems like a bug. Maybe it's because I alt-clicked or control-clicked. Yeah. Personally, I think Vicky 3 on release is worth 60. I don't think it is as good as U4 or CK3 yet. I think it's far better than... Vicky 2, but worse than Heart of Darkness. Yeah. I think I wasn't around for EU4's release, so I don't really remember that. Yeah. Control adds 10. That makes more sense. Why there were 10 there. Um, tax capacity. We're low on paper here. Um, we're working on that. I think we can add another... No. We have two. I think a third one would probably do us fine. So we're still uh, making a ton of money, which I'm fine with hemorrhaging more money. At least we're back in the gold, finally, after so many hours of being wrestling with that. Um, unfortunately, we still don't have... Having slavery is preventing us having any sort of like industrial people. I don't know. It's tough. At least we have ships coming in. And our log camped fine and then yeah a lot more paper needed but it, how's the rest of the world doing uh u.s is doing its weird thing mexico lost all of its southwestern territories spain is still a thing great britain all these boys are pretty oh prussia has a queen interesting i feel like that never really happens but what is this war for? South Germany? Southern Germany? Good to know. Okie dokie. Um, shipyards being built. Irons being built. Really want to pass and get out of these isolation laws, but we just don't have anybody who cares. Or who is not marginalized still. So. Let's see if we how pissed people will be if I do this. Does it say somewhere that they're automatically going to get kicked out of the government? This is, radicalizes them. That's fine. Um, does that immediately kick them out of the government? Yeah. So when you make them angry... That's what happens. Okay, so that's why we're not able to... Yeah, okay, we'll cancel that. Um, bring them back into the government.
Hmm. Good to know. Do we piss them off <laughs> by taking some of their past? Yeah, radicalizing them. <coughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can take some of their powers still away. Is there anything that's going to give power to... Uh, the industrialists? No, I don't think so. Open borders? No, I think you have to have... First, we have to have somebody who cares about it. The petite bourgeoisie would care about it. Uh, it doesn't give them strength, though. The only th thing I can see as of now is doing like a this. A point to this, giving the intelligentsia more power. Um, no schools. Private schools? Gives intelligentsia power, doesn't it? Yeah. Why can't we have this? Must uh, not have state religion enacted. What about this one? Same thing. Okay. Well, let's try to pass this one. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling it's, it's not going to work. But I think we'll go for another 30 minutes and see how, what we can get done in our, our time. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know? Uh, at least we formed Ethiopia and we made a ton of money. So we did drop a lot of pl places in rank, unfortunately. But that's probably due to the deleting my army plus some other things. No progress. Why is that? Cannot due to active interest in a Nile. No active. Oh, because we lost our declared. Um, that's uh, why you got to build a navy. Um, because what of our ports? They're providing two twenty-five industry. So if we built a naval ship or two, how much infrastructure would that take? I don't know if it would take any. Let's get our navy first and see if we can get some more our interest back. I think that's for sure the play, the next play. Mm, Ethiopia, you silly goose. You know. So funny that there's always just these little like pockets of choke holds that I keep. That's the one thing I keep running into as I play Victoria. There's like these one or two things like that I need to do to actually open up the game wider. And it sucks because becoming un un isolated is all dependent on one or two groups actually being in power. And right now, like trade unionists not in power like it's tough it's tough yeah i don't know we're probably not going to reach that today uh guanine is down here isn't it uh it's over society um yeah there's no way we'll get that done we still haven't gotten nationalism and all that But they actually has a system for getting out of it. It's society, yeah. Um, yeah, feels like I'm trapped a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and build warships too. Is that gonna f screw our infrastructure here? No. Uh, 
um, cold towards the Omani are less mad at us. They have a defensive pack with a bunch of people. Damn. Portugal, what are you doing out here? Hmm. Because if I became... Also, if I could became a tributary, would that immediately destroy my isolationism? Hmm. Probably not. Oh, I see. Portugal wilding out with their ex explore exploration. This is a Zulu. Zulu lands under French control because of a war, probably. Yeah. France invading Siam. Is that historically accurate? I thought the British were more about that. But who knows? Um, let's see. Did we radicalize them again? No, they're good. Jesus. It's annoying. Maybe we uh, start trying to pass some uh, parliamentary republic stuff. Probably not, though. How old is our king? Is he... Oh, he's, we have a new king. He's hated. That's sick. You'll love to see that. Um, why is he hated? Arrogant, exploits, bandits... Ah, uh, they got Indochina. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, we have bureaucracy to spare. Let's do that. I feel like I, I feel like I keep getting bandits. I've had it like several times now. Uh, for whatever reason, it just keeps popping up. All right. With having a navy, how large does our how large until we can get a single um, interest increase? Where does it say that information? I think it says it somewhere. Military. You can recruit an admiral. Um, shh. Expensive taste? No. Um... Raid convoys, naval things, yeah. Gets the Bandit King event. Bandits is a fine, just no on a monarchy. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Team, we've been doing this for a while. I'm getting cooked, as we say in my household, when we've when we've done something for too long. Get, getting a little too cooked. We've been playing for almost five hours. Jesus Christ. I think uh, if getting close to my limits, yeah, it's quite it's quite a bit. Uh, and this is from somebody who doesn't stream that often, and mostly I stream CK3, so I feel like that's cooks me quicker. My own stream ended. Oh, nice. What did you stream earlier today? Some Vicky? All right. Oh, I haven't streamed my own. Oh, got it. Nice. Nice, nice. We're currently streaming on YouTube and Twitch, which I've been trying to see if that's like a viable thing or if it's a worthwhile thing. And it, it seems like it's a amusing restream, so it's it's kinda interesting to see how that how that works. But it's I'm doing a running a test on A B testing. I was boring and did a Grand a Great Britain the uh, game. The thing is I haven't actually played as any of the major powers. <laughs> For some reason, I've just been like, nah, I'm all right. Maybe I'll do a campaign where I play as the Spanish and I try to reconquer all their South American territories. That might be the the play. Uh, 
Oh wow, that passed. That's insane. Um, oh, the Spanish are fun, but very fading. Yeah. Um, okay, so the intelligentsia has power now. Can we change the voting? Would that piss them off? Probably piss them off too much. Yeah, I would radicalize them. Hmm. Maybe that's the thing we need to do? Maybe not. Monarchy, presidential republic. Uh, we can see this is going to radicalize them, isn't it? Yep. We just need to pull some of their cloud away, some more of their cloud. What is the, mostly their cloud? It's the monarchy, it's the peasants' lobby, the slave trade. Damn. We need to get rid of peasant levies, I think. Next, if we were to if we're to get more wrestle more power away from them. It's gonna piss them off, but it's fine. Their clout will go down su substantially. Um what were we doing? Oh, we were radicalizing the these boys. Where is the revolution going to happen? Here. All right. Let's have them have this revolution. Let's let's light this candle, as they say. <laughs> um, especially because we have more people living here, and we can just go like this. Increase some of our troops. If this pops, so like, what's the revolution going to look like? 18 of their units, but they don't have guns. Right? That's the thing, is our military... The garrisons that are here have uh, guns. <laughs> you may vote for whoever you want, but the monarchy is forever. That is, uh, that is a good one. Um... Let's see how bad this goes. I have a feeling it's going to go poorly, but how many troops are they going to get? They say 18. How many conscripts can you have in this? Uh, let's look. Con Does this break down how many conscripts come from each area? I guess we'll see right here. 21 conscripts here. 14. We can have 8. And we can have zero. I don't think there's... Oh, no, four. So this is going to be a bad war. But, you know, let's let's blow the things up. I'm getting the end of the stream. So, like, nothing nothing like blowing up a, uh, a situation. Also, if, if they revolt, it's possible we can convince some neighboring nation to come help us out. Yeah, we have guns, so so hopefully this works out in our favor. And they do not have guns. No guns for them. Yeah, cap. Is there anybody we can convince? The French have no interests. Um, a revolution is upon us. That's fine. Um, they're confident, they say, because they have numbers, but they don't realize that our military is better than theirs. Um, we don't have artillery, do we? If we went like this, we could probably get artillery. All right. Um, let's also go like this. Uh, and then we'll mobilize our troops. Because right now... Oh god, they, they're they going to attack those troops over there too. Because right now, what does their military look like? It's just these guys over here. Buildings. It's conscript centers. Um, is there even a barracks? Conscript 
conscripts. Where did their barracks go? Did I delete it? No. All right, either way, let's get our troops mobilized. See how bad this goes. Uh, mobilize these boys. Go defend this front. Act A, conscriptions, bang, bang. Is this our better general or is this our okay general? Let's go ahead and promote this guy. If he dies, he dies. Um, they are confident. We can't sway either the Egyptians or the French to help us, which is tough. But we should, in theory, be able to win this war. But fuck if I know. I wish you could click on this and it would show you the quality of their mobilized troops. Because they're... they're Irregulars and were regulars or line infantry at least, but they do have more of them than us um, Let's see if we can build a couple more How many bullets do we have or how many guns do we have producing right now? We need 20 small arms. How many do we have right now? We have cell orders of 15 so we're barely keeping up um that's fine. And we have artillery, so I think we should be able to win, but you know, what? if they beat us, they beat us. And then maybe we'll be able to pass the laws I wanna pass because we've destroyed the landowners. Oh, great, just in time, the railroads are done. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's hilarious. We'll see. The war is going to start, and then they're going to immediately probably, like, destroy us. This would be the nice thing about having, um... Yes, I know we're isolated. Uh, it'd be nice to have an uh, open market so that we could actually uh, trade for the things we need. Alright. We'll see the first battle. Probably, probably going to go poorly, but uh, time will tell. For everyone is the achievement. You should go for 20 standard of living is for everyone. It's kind of fun. All right. They are getting absolutely uh, destroyed by our defenses. How about we just let them tire themselves out on our troops? I think our defenses should be better than theirs. Plus, we have a better defensive rating, too. Because they've taken 20... Uh, wow. Dun, dun. Yeah. Guns are making a difference, I think. Uh, Battle-wise, at least the first battle went in our favor. We'll see how the second battle goes. They might out over outrun us. Yeah, looks like they're pushing us, but it's mostly... Yeah, I really don't understand the battle system in this game. Like, we definitely have more guns than they do, but they, I guess they... They're just beating us this time because they have pure manpower, but they are suffering suffering a lot of casualties. Let's see if we can get a couple more battalions. Uh, is this all of our people in the field? It is all the active, already active. Um, can we go and increase at least 50? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, military wages, what have we done? with you. Oh, uh, they're lower. That's uh, probably why we're having some losses, too. Alright, that should help. A little bit. Uh, they're they're going to gain some ground here in this battle, but so far, we've had 
one battle and we defeated them, but this next battle they've defeated us. Oh god. You lose unless you completely beat them. Got it. So we have to beat these boys back, but they will probably beat us back. Where is our... Hmm. Let's go increase our infantry. A couple more infantry dudes. See if that helps. So their advantage shouldn't be that much higher than ours. But we'll see. We do have two naval units we could use to not do anything with. <laughs> it would have been nice to have uh, the Egyptians or French come save our asses, but it looks like we are uh, without up. Shit's creek. I think once we hit, uh, when we get these two last uh, extra battalions in here, we should start doing this. Yeah, it looks like the guns are making the difference a little bit. Heavy casualties on their side. Um, yeah, they because they have 47,000 casualties. They're, I think that seems wild. Enemy controls 100% of their war goal. All right, it's probably time to go on the offensive and see if we can actually push these kids back uh, once we... Yeah, guns are starting to turn. I just also, I don't love the fact that I'm not in control of this. Like, it's, I'm just letting the AI decide when the battles are being taken. I wish, I know, like, like in EU4 and like in Hoi, you control everything. I don't love the fact that the AI just gets to do what they want with the troops I had, because then I'd be like, oh, you would defend certain areas more staunchly than other areas. But that's just the game, I guess. Somehow we're still making money too, even with half our country in rebellion. But that's good to know. Good to know. I feel like everybody on YouTube has given up and everybody switched to Twitch. But I guess this is what happens. You can't watch five hours of content. All, albeit how entertaining it is. <laughs> It's, it's like the exactly what happened in the Civil War, pretty much. <laughs> the American Civil War, at least. Yeah, starting to push into their territory. That's good. Yeah, only the battles are going our way again. I say that, and then this happens. Well, knowing the game, how I was playing earlier, this game has been going on interestingly where I was fighting pretty much one nation, one part of Ethiopia, and they, I had overwhelming odds, but somehow couldn't get through their defenses even though we had equal tech. Yeah, we're making them suffer a lot more casualties though. Maybe we uh, just increase our troop count some more, just 
just spam out a bunch of troops so that we have we don't lose immediately because we're hemorrhaging points now it's annoying about five a week and they're about 4.4 .4 a week hmm do I know did you just oh you're right we don't have any population there oops Uh, we have pops here. So it looks like we can do three more. And that's about it. Uh, do we have any pops here? We could fire some people from the f coffee farms and put them into the field. <laughs> Maybe that will work. Yeah. I just also just don't love the fact that it decays so quickly. Like, you have no control over that. Over this, like, number at all. And I feel like this isn't as... Like, they've lost so much more people than we have. But it we're getting affected way more. It's annoying, but you know, if we lose, we lose. I'm not too worried about it. We've had, a, we've had. A, I wanted to spice it up to see if, uh, if anything would go wild, but makes sense. Yeah, they have the capital region. Where is their capital technically? Starting to push into... This should slowly... Like, that's the thing, is if I had control over my troops, I would be like, don't let them take this land. But now we're pushed into their lands. And it's not really having as big of an effect. And we're going to lose. It's not going to matter, because next week we're going to fall apart. And they're going to win. Which is... I don't, you know, tis what it is. Yeah. Damn, boy. Damn. <laughs> Just like that, we got annexed. Ba boom. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the end screen. Wow. That's, uh, that's wow. So I think that's it for today, man. We, uh, we made it this far. We made Ethiopia happen. Cause we lost the civil war, but you know, that's, that's the thing. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, you know, follow, like, if you were you're on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, got new faces in the chat. Uh, thank you all for coming out. It's been a grand old day. Five hours is a lot of time. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're commonly playing CK3, you know, most days, putting out content, all that stuff. But, yeah uh let's say let's see anything else to plug um nope i think that's it hope you all have a good rest of your day and i'll see you next time we stream or play you know